It's like home. It's like returning to home. 1991 America. And the barn finders barn. So last night the, the new DLC for barn finders dropped. And so I was like, can I wait to the weekend to play this? And the answer is no, because I really like this game. I so I don't know why I really like this game, but I really like this game. So it's the return of Jesus America, and uh, if you're wondering where Warhammer Wednesday is, perhaps we'll find it inside of a barn. Now, I have no idea how much of this is actually going to run properly, how much of it's going to load properly, or what bugs may be involved. This game released, like, 12 hours ago? But we are, we are back home. Well, def definitely something has changed. Uh, something has already very clearly changed. I also, uh, I also did up the, uh, I did up the shop again. Uh, you know. It's got that nice swamp feeling to it now. Nice and slushy. Uh, so what, what's up, Uncle Billy? You're looking a lot young and sexier now. <laughs> He needs a drink. My papa hit dream shine around here somewhere. Okay, well, I guess this is how it's how it begins in uh, in rampant alcoholism. Uh, yes, and for those wondering, although I'm not sure many people have filed into chat yet. Uh, this is the uh, the completed Frog Circus. I finished that up, and I also finished up the comic. Uh, though I I wonder if I should show that yet because I'm not sure how many people are here who wanted to see it. Maybe do that at the end of the stream, so that I have everybody who's awake. I don't know, I've got like Dream Shine around here somewhere. I gotta go find some. Oh, okay. So I can customize my room now, I guess. Heck yeah, I can with all the with all the modern accoutrements. Okay, well that's cool. That's kind of nice. That would that definitely wasn't there before. Were there any uh any dream shine? I wasn't ready for like a pixel hunt as soon as I got started. <laughs> Game. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. I won't humiliate myself further. Where's the dream shine? Yeah, I don't know where this dream shine is. I'm just gonna check the computer here. Cause we do have an email. No, we don't. <laughs> Dear Butson, thank you for buying American Dream DLC. Unpaid interns work their asses off 25 hours a day, 8 days a week in our company, provide you content that can be delivered with love. We at Miko value regular customers like you and your money. Mostly your money, actually. We broke into your pawn shop while you were sleeping and installed hot new stuff here and there so you don't have to wait for it. Don't hesitate to check out the new pawn shop customization and the bee smoker tool. We strongly encourage you to update your barn hub too. If you experience any problems with DLC, well, it should work. Uh, are you having weird dreams lately? Do you see aliens? Do you live in a pawn shop with your good-for-nothing uncle? Is your name Butson? If you said yes to all of these questions, it means someone is spying on you while you sleep. We don't know who it is, but paying us one million dollars and they may not tell your nasty little secrets to the entire America world. Oh my god, what is all of this fucking shit? Like, <laughs> but barn tr the barn tricks has you. Search for valuable item stash in three new barns owned by Miko in the complete new dream catalog from item catalog carefully set by a specialist while happily working overtime. Sell them at a profit and get rich quick. With us, you can dream your own American dream. P.S. Only folks who completed red barn and bridge storage jobs can update their barn hub. There's, there's, there are chickens out there. There are chickens out there. I, uh, I have, I have attempted to dunk the chickens before. Also, you're, you're you're someone who hasn't seen this game before. You're in for a fucking trip. This is actually going to be great because I d I haven't played this DLC either. Can I update my barn hub or is it still? I've got to find. I've got to find. I've got to find this. F like, is it? Like, where is the? Where is the moonshot? I can't believe like, 
like the very first thing this game is doing is like, oh yeah, can you get me a drink? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know where this alleged drink is. Is it like, am I am I blind? Am I stupid? And the answer is yes to all of the above. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there are definitely chickens here somewhere. Is it? Oh, it's. It might actually be up here. It might actually be up here. No, no, but. Oh my. Oh my. We got a lot of stuff here. So what was this? Gotta go to the Miko Walls magazine. Okay, so we can do our garage over too. Wow, this is this is this is getting kind of wild here. Good lord. Good grief. Garage skeletons. Oh my gosh. We can give ourselves we can give ourselves some, some real coloration going here. Okay. Un unfortunately the uh the aforementioned uh the aforementioned dream shine isn't around here. Which is uh You know, I'm a little wor- I'm a little worried. Are you sure it's around here? Are you sure it's around here though, Uncle? Cause, uh... Cause I ain't seeing it. I'm a little concerned here. <laughs> Your Papa- Papa here dream shine. Okay. What does that mean? Oh god. If I'd known it was gonna be like this, I'd have probably like looked up a guide to the location of the dream shine to start with. Oh, wait a second. Oh. There's a new comic, I think. Because uh, I definitely completed the comic before. Dream shine. Dream shine. Come to me. And die. Oh, that's a new rack for the new toilet paper. I'm gonna venture at an assumption. Seriously though, like, where, where is it, game? It's not even making a noise. Is it like, is it like buried? God, this is this is like the worst way to start the adventure. Like, why would you do this to me? Oh dear. Oh oh I see. I see. It's in there. How do I miss that? Okay, let's let's go get the like, they really want me to go get the 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 bee the bee thinger. The thinger for bees. Welcome to Miko Shop. That's a you can Miko There we go, now we can calm down angry bees. No Use bee smoker to calm down bees for a limited amount of time. Each usage costs wood resources. <laughs> Upgrade tool to mi mi minimize resource cost and maximize bee calming effect. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now <laughs> we, we we now have thank thank you for thinking of going to look, but yeah, that was a that was a weird. Can I... What happens if I just walk into the angry bee swarm? Bees can kill you if you get too close to them! <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye, bees. Oh, I got an achievement for that called Use Smoke. And there it is. Okay, there, there you go, Dream Billy. Why are we... Oh. Okay, so it was my papa's dream to build this pawn shop and become rich. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, what is this?
Was that Donald Trump wearing funny glasses? <laughs> That's the last face I want to see when I'm drinking moonshine. You passed out, I won't drink with you anymore. <laughs> oh, check out the computer. Uh, we definitely, we definitely went cyberpunk redneck, I think. Uh, hey, let's, uh, let's make our room a little more perfect. There we go, now everyone can watch us sleep. It's great. Well. <laughs> that was, uh, that was certainly, you can totally tell the devs, uh, certainly, uh, had a little bit, a little bit of time spent playing, uh, playing Cyberpunk and possibly realized how bad it was, so. <laughs> hey, there it is, Bonehub, DLC. We got the, yeah, we got a new job. Donatello McRonald. Hey, barn funders, my informants tell me you're heading to Miko's Diner Barn. Rumor has it that the forever lost secret big Miko burger recipe is hidden somewhere inside the diner. I'm just gonna say that again. The forever lost secret big Miko burger recipe. My fast food company would like to use it. Could you find it and sell it to me? It'll be a real big tasty favor for all American tummies. I just got an achievement. Begin the dream. Alright. Well... This is this is a good way to start because can I can I just say, uh, if there is one piece of Americana I f I love, like I seriously love, it's diners. I don't think there anybody does the whole concept of diners quite like America does, and uh, you just walk into one like I it's been like nearly twenty years since I went to America. You walk into one and holy cow, it's an experience. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy we're we're start we're starting out on a strong note. Although oh my god, there are a lot of bees. There are a lot of bees out in these diners. <laughs> the Miko Diner Barn. All right. Well, for those unfamiliar with the uh, with with our friend <laughs> with our friend uh, this game, Barn Finders. Uh, Barn Finders is a game about going to a location, finding and taking uh, the stuff to sell it off. So in this particular case, we've got the Colonial. It is a gas pump, and we just uh, we just take it. We own that. We own. We own. We just come here. We just take in all this stuff, and we'll sell it later. Is there something screeching at me out there? Welcome to see you later, partner. And you get tools that let you do stuff, and you you earn money by picking up garbage, and you you climb up things you probably shouldn't, and you immediately find the golden toilet paper. That's a collectible. Do we own this, or are we just jacking it? Yes. I mean, it's technically abandoned. And this is uh this is one of our rivals slash clientele, Dave uh, Duke Tucker. Right, I'm gonna burn this shed to the ground. I hate bees. Yeah, he's uh he's 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 kind of trash. <laughs> Sometimes when you destroy things, they drop like materials that you can use to repair stuff. And in the case of wood, we need it to to run our fumigator. So we definitely want to uh, definitely want to get as much of that as possible. We get metal out of concrete. Try not to think about it. You know, just walking around the outside, seeing what we can find, killing what we can't. So you're a thief. I'm an entrepreneur. Thank you. This is the American dream. I'm making a business out of nothing. It's all. It's all perfectly, perfectly legal. Because if if they didn't want me to do it. They, they should have done it a lot, so this is... Is that a... Is 
a Tenacious D reference? <laughs> Just look at it, because we got... Look, we got Jack Black and other guy who who whose name I don't remember, I apologize. The other half of Tenacious D. Well, the uh the drumstick the drum set belongs to me now, so that's all good. Oh, apparently I upset uh upset the devil by uh by removing the greatest song in the world, sorry about that. There are aliens in this game. Oh, well, 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 this is my true nemesis, Agent Agent. How's it going, man? Not bought anything lately? <laughs> Stay back, civilian. This place is under M MBI control right now. He says that, but he will never actually stop me immediately walking over and smashing everything to try and find things to sell. Because, <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, is there anything more Americana than just, like, roadside diners and aliens? Because, I mean, there's the alien roadside diner name near, you know, Area 51. I, can you believe I actually forgot, like, the, the, the most famous, like, alien black site in existence? <laughs> did I... Did I know I was part B because I am the B's knees. Thank you. I'm B-lushing. Oh, I don't have a key. But this one doesn't need it. Are you sure you're okay with this, man? We kind of left on bad terms at the end of the, like the last of, last Bond Finder stream, but I've uh, I've temporarily forgiven him. I will forgive him up until I'm trying to sell stuff and he turns up and starts like asking me shit questions again while I'm trying to like sell frogs. This is very important. Just smashing things going on here. All right, I will go inside. Inside is where the action is. Inside is where the fun is. Oh, where are they? Did the secret recipe had anything to do with it? Conspiracy? Sasquatch? UFO abduction? Agents in black suits, who are they? Dualicious G went missing. Hungry for fame music band who traveled America in a camper disappeared after their performance at Miko Dinobahn in the 70s. Well, okay, so definitely Tenacious D then. Um, glad I picked up on that before getting to the interesting parts. I guess I guess they didn't play the best song in the world because they got vanished. Uh, no, no, it's not a sequel. This is the DLC. This is the American the American Dream DLC, and uh, we are we are continuing our adventures. Uh, we now have the ability to pacify bees. Oh, hold on! I haven't smashed everything over here. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around this place as long as I possibly can to drag this out before we go in and uh, enjoy the sights. I'm gonna be looking down at the floor, picking up garbage and like smacking things with an axe. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't we don't have to worry about running out of wood, of course, because uh, we have over a thousand wood. I I don't even really need to like do all this, but by God, I love smashing things. <laughs> yes, there are bees now. American bees. They told you the American bee was extinct, that it had been driven out by the angry, uh, the angry Southern American death kill wasp hornet, which is like a hornet and a wasp taped together. They taped themselves together, just proving how dangerous they are, and they just went around with like a knife held between them and stabbed all the bees. We don't know why, but they were killing all the bees. And, uh, but... You know they they're still around, and we're going to uh, we're going to smash their hives <laughs> to ensure that we never have to put up with them ever again. Man, there is so much resources here. I don't need to be smashing. But seriously, if you if you leave anything for somebody else to come back for, you're you're a terrible pawn shop operator. You know, like you should be leaving an empty skeleton of a building and nothing else. <laughs> just, just pure psycho act stuff. Jesus, America doesn't like to leave leave tables unattended. 
Like, at this point, there shouldn't be any need for any of this. Well, here's something going ping-ping in the background. That's usually a good sign there's a, uh... It was just very faint. There's probably a poster in there or something. Yeah, I won't destroy any of that, because it looks like I can actually go up there. Hey, metronome! Or the Miko gnome. For those wondering, there is only one corporation in existence, and it's Miko, and we buy all our stuff from Miko. Okay, well. Why don't we just go up here for a sec? Okay. Maybe we can't get up there. Maybe this is all a trick. We're gonna be like that, aren't we? There we go. There we are. Now, can I get in any of these windows? Ah, oh, well, at least we know where the uh, where the the wall is. There we go. That's a fancy looking wall. I like that. Oh, this is cool too. Sitting out on the roof with a bunch of with a bunch of nice chairs that apparently I don't need to sell. I guess there's the other the other part of Denacious G. We've uh, we've got their drum set and their uh, their drum set and both their guitars. God, there is like I have been listening to. Uh, the greatest song in the world, but like mixed with like a neon that that famous track from Neon Genesis Evangelion, when the fucking Ava goes completely fucking psycho, and they go together so well. In fact, they go together so well. Um, the 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 composer, like the the guy responsible for the Neon Genesis Evangelion soundtrack, tweeted that particular like dude's YouTube video out and was like, "This is this is amazing." So it, perhaps it may have become the greatest song in the world uh, as a result of that. But it was yeah, it was pretty amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna check now. I've, now I've been up there. I'm just gonna check behind the boxes, make sure there's nothing there. I'm not gonna bother picking anything else up now. I, don't, I think I think I'm good for the for the rest of all time. Yeah. So there's nothing else here. Okay. We need to get inside. Excuse me, bees. There's a really nice diner in, uh... Man, everyone was just coming to play instruments in... You alright, Billy? Well, I said, hi, Uncle. Are you the reason why this place is like this? <laughs> Uncle Billy, did you destroy this diner? Like, are you... Did a hell plague of... Did a hell plague of bees descend on this place because your date went really, really badly? Or is it did your date go really badly because of the hell plague of bees? Like, so many questions. B Uncle Billy lore is the deepest. Yeah, but like Terminator Resistance has like the old ruined diner that, uh. You know, that was from the first Terminator movie when it wasn't ruined. <laughs> that Sarah Connor worked out at the beginning before everything kind of just went a bit wrong. I feel like, like, that's the second cat home we found in, in this diner. I'm just starting to wonder if, like, someone didn't, like, bring too many cats and they caused a fight that released some some bees and, you know, Tenacious, you know, Tenacious G were, like, trying to play the greatest song in the world and failed. Duelacious G. I, you know, I'm never going to get their name right. Have you seen them? <laughs> Last seen performing the best song in the world. It's like, okay, I get the reference. No, but have you considered getting the reference? And it's just going to like keep slapping me with... Uh, I guess that's how they keep time while they were doing it. It doesn't sound like playing the first thing that came to your head. That just so happened to be the best song in the world. Billy, 
can you like not do that? Yeah, I'm not gonna die, so I'm gonna do you need a hint? I'm no. Create a five song playlist, kiddo. Okay. Uh Uh, choices. Let's go with, uh, Redneck Rock and Roll, The Red Pickup, because that sounds pretty good, Alien Lady, Moonshine Rider, and Billy the Kid. Well, I don't know where that's coming from, because... Oh, it's a puzzle! Oh, okay. It's a it's literally called the jukebox puzzle. So I guess I got to find Oh, I see. Okay. I'm I'm stupid. Hold on a second. So Redneck Rock and Roll is number 1. <laughs> I really should have like looked at that before I was like and uh Memphis Moonlight Moonshine Rider is 3. Imagine if I got that right just by like randomly picking shit up. 4 is the the red pickup. It's funny actually cuz I think I'm pretty sure this is all mostly the tracks I picked. You gotta go, bees. You can't. You, you can't be doing this in my toilet. They <laughs> needed to restock. <laughs> they needed to restock the diner supplies, so they just got cats. I don't. I don't know about that. Aww. Aww. Someone's just got a little shrine to them, and I'm going to sell bits and pieces of it. Here we go. Alien lady. Alien Lady is number two, number five. Okay, does if Billy the Kid ends up turning out to be number two, I'm gonna be like, because they were all my selections, <laughs> but just not the right order. <laughs> that is, that's gonna be cursed. Do ye need a hint? Oh, that's a teleporter there. I think maybe possibly. Well, there's the keys. Maybe the last one's in there. A lot of stuff in here. We, you know, if we go selling stuff, we're gonna be a while. <laughs> God. Y'all wanna be eating that uh, later? We'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll go back and we'll cook up that uh that that stuff that we've just had sitting there for, you know, for however long. Uh, was the last performance of, uh, of Delicious G. Sleepy bees. Oh! I was wondering if we were going to have one of these. The DLC is going to answer the mystery of the alien thief. No, we answered the mystery of the alien thief. He uh he stole the moonshine for Uncle Billy. Lizard men are behind everything. It's true. That is definitely true. But you're behind a dumpster, so I don't know, man. Like who's who's got it worse? All right, let's uh let's have our our. <laughs> there, I was wondering. It's, you can't be a hobo without a knife. This doesn't seem right. Let's get our moonshine up us. Alright! Good to know. See the uh the red nest anywhere around here though. What's it's in here? Wouldn't be surprised if it was like at the bottom of this pit of things to slap. But it isn't. I can't believe there wasn't treasure in the garbage. That's like that feels like a violation of the prophecy. 
Glad you uh, poured that booze into your eye. Yeah, well, if you can think of a better way to drink moonshine, you know, you tell me, okay? And I'll be, don't be going until... <laughs> I'm just trying to slap Judgment Day. Hey, it's called Judgment Day, and we're in a diner. I don't think that's actually meant to be a Terminator reference, but it works. So that's good, because I was just talking about that. Have I played House Flipper at all? No, I haven't. I've thought about it. And, uh, I don't think I- I don't think I'm really that good <laughs> at those sorts of ga games with this aesthetic sense to, like, you know, do it. Maybe I'm being a little hard on myself, but I don't- I don't- I don't know if I'd get much out of it beyond, uh, beyond, like, a single stream of goofing around. Man, there are so many- there are so many, like, posters in this- in this thing, and I like it. We could turn our entire our entire pawn shop into just like a tellacious D. What is that? Oh yeah. Who wants who wants who wants some beef hot dogs? We got the buns, we got the dogs. They they've been sitting out for a long time, but I'm sure it's fine. We'll take the fryer home. And we'll just we'll just do up a big thing of hot dogs. We'll just do We'll just have hot dogs, and then we'll sit back, and we'll all cry, and we'll all scream recriminations at each other. Who, whose idea was this? It was Robokai's. Yeah, but you guys could have told me it was a bad idea. Why didn't you stop me? You know, just, just, just general screaming, shrieking, vomiting, and pooping. You know, and we've only got one toilet, so we'll have to decide whether or not, like, one person poops inside while everybody else screams and poops outdoors. Or if uh, we all try and just, like, park our butts over the same toilet. And, you know, and hope it doesn't get too awkward. I think it's a great time. They give me your money. That is beautiful. Personally, personally, probably, probably can't say I'm down for, like, sharing my toilet with all the rest of you. So you guys all have to go outside. <laughs> you don't need aesthetic sense to play house football. I do, because my brain, when I do things, is like, I could do this better. I can make this look better. If, if you start giving me control of like placing things around, my brain starts going into like turbo over terrible. Yeah, don't worry, we'll get there. It's around here somewhere, I'm sure. There it is. Oh my god, they were all exactly the same songs I picked. <laughs> they were all the same songs, but in a different order. What? Are you kidding me? Are you are you are you sizzliest right now? Am I am I just that? Is my is my my taste in music that good? Moonshine writer, yeah. And then we've got uh, the red pickup, and then it was Alien Lady. <laughs> uh, it's just like. Well now. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The secret Miko burger recipe. Look at it. Oops. Ah, I didn't say it had to come back not scuffed. So that was, uh... That was what we needed. Oh, this is beautiful. You know, like, deli Delicious G uh, is great and all, but... Disco? Disco's been... Disco's been de te testoster on. Best workout music of the decade available now. Fit you are. Oh, and the, uh, the bees. Excuse me, guys, I gotta remove you from the game. Rattle and Hum, support Moonwalk Dance Team, are Amazing Mava, Thom the Devil, Paul the Jacket, Peter the Arrow, Chris Andrew Bird, Sebastian the Bobek, if anyone knows what a Bobek is, let me know, Whiteface Pete, tickets at usual places at door $2.99, uh, Go 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 Son, announcer Michael Spanish, 
featuring the newest sensation, Charles Beard with Adam Blue Eyes, Bob Peru, Big Head, Sax King, All Star Jazz Band. Man, they and the aliens were big on disco. You know, you know, they're our buddies. They give us what's good. We'll get our Miko synth going. Disco, gym and fitness. Join today, 5% off. Somebody, even in the changing times, kept disco in their heart. I And I love that. I love it with people who don't let go of disco. <laughs> Did that book look a little Necronomicon-esque to anyone else? I mean, you know? Bobek is a surname, apparently. Well, uh, okay then. <laughs> the surname is Bobek. Just in quotation marks, I guess. Do you need a hit? No, I don't. Why would I hit it? Billy, I've solved it. I solved the puzzle. Don't be doing that. Be giving me new dialogue, t cherishing me for my amazing powers. I, I don't know why that was an obstacle. Can I sell the flag? Of course I can't. Of course I can't sell the flag. What was I thinking? No survivors. That's what I was thinking. Alright, well the only thing we've got left to uh, left to do at this juncture is... Oh wait, I didn't get the soap dispensers. Gotta sell the soap dispensers. Guess we might as well head out and see, uh, see what's up with Agent Agent out the back there. You alright now, dude? No. He still hates these. It's a lot of... There's no bees here now, man. Duke. Uh, deepest lore, uh, Duke's mom and Uncle Billy have a thing. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Electric piano. Oh, uh, still have quite a few things I haven't found, though. Guess I better do a once around the building, just to make sure before we take off. We found the thing we needed. We've got the golden toilet paper. We got a... Uh, we got a lot of stuff. So I wonder what we've missed. Because I ain't seeing much. They must all be inside the diner. Must all just be a bunch of things I haven't noticed. Can we hit Agent Agent with an axe? Uh, I've tried. God help me, I've tried. But sadly, he is as invincible as he is useless, as he is s skint on on money. His his agent money, he just, he just doesn't like it. Just doesn't carry very far. Oh, of course. How could I have forgotten? There may be a few digging spots I need to keep an eye out for. Not too many though. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's actually that much. Just gotta make sure. No, this, what we're looking for is probably inside inside the diner. Right, you got it. Okay, so another metro. <laughs> God, there are a lot of items though, because man, that 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 barely even brought down the brought down the counter. What else is there? What else is there to to horn swoggle here, game? I'm looking. I'm poking my head around. Oh. <clears throat> that should have been obvious. Pretty much just taking everything everything diner related. Still check the kitchen. Excuse me. Excuse me, Uncle Billy. I'm not gonna linger too long. There's only three maps in the game, but they are quite large, which is nice. Because I, I spent enough time pixel hunting at the start, which was embarrassing. Well? It's a shame I can't take this. I would like to, I would like to take the machine. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it. There's probably a little bit more somewhere around, but we've gotten all the bits we needed. Oh, yeah, right, the chicken. We could probably just pull the chicken out. I'm glad 
that some people here are remembering like details that I'm forgetting because. Because boy, that boy howdy, I feel silly for forgetting that was a thing. If there's nothing around here, that means we've probably forgotten something in the teleport place. Yeah, there must have been something I overlooked in the uh, in the in the disco chamber, because I was so excited about disco. Yeah, we're definitely not getting anything out here, so it's got to be in the disco chamber. <laughs> I love that chicken. That's it. Oh, tiny little flashlight. Oh, microphone, sorry. Yeah, makes sense. You can't have disco without without something to sing disco tunes in. Well, there we go. Guess this is a hundred percent run now. And there we go. Mission mission completed. We have We got... Oh, we probably missed something. A poster. <laughs> Whatever! I'll find that later. Mm. Well, let's take a look. Do we have... We've got a lot of things that need repairing, so let's... Let's take them off and get them repaired. Get them repaired and set up for, for tomorrow. Uh, so. Have to always be careful because I usually end up start accidentally picking it up or trying to do other things. Good as new. Let's go get the other ones. And somebody is gonna be able to make their own make their own gas station themed diner with all of these diner pieces. Which is probably why people will you know different people will buy it and therefore ensure there is no complete set. Because this game doesn't think about things like that. And quite frankly, neither should it. The del like the del talking about the delicious G and Neon Genesis Evangelion thing just reminds me there's like another Super Robot Wars game coming. <laughs> like they're gonna be they're gonna be, like they've announced it, Super Robot Wars 30. And uh they haven't gone they haven't really announced what the full roster is, but Neon Genesis Evangelion's movies have finally finished. So that will, you know, there's always a good chance we'll finally get a complete version of that because it's appeared in like three or four or so Super Robot Wars games with like an incomplete plotline. Which to be fair led to things like Super Robot War V's uh, wonderful story where Gendo is like actually not a shit dad. Because <laughs> he knows the story's not going to finish so it's like I don't really care. Like I'm actually going to like, you know... I'm actually gonna like try and not be a shit dad for a change. It's kind of it's kind of amazing when you think about that. It's like Gen Gendo Akari, not a shit dad. <laughs> it's like in, like only only in the in the in the weird realm of a Super Robot Wars game could something like that happen, because it it sure as hell wouldn't happen anywhere else. Man. This, these, this, all of this stuff found in like an old abandoned diner that might have been abandoned as a result of like a demonic incident when the greatest song in the world wasn't played properly. You know, like it's all it's also run down and broken. Who applies the band aids in that case? I wonder. I'm guessing someone from Miko just comes around like a Miko inspector and just goes, "Yes, yes, yes, that's definitely broken," and then just puts a sticker on it. 
It's like some some asshole from a pawn shop will turn up and fix it at some point. Uh, did I have any others that needed fixing? No, I don't. Okay. Well, even though I'm probably just gonna go straight to the next pawn shop, I'm just gonna like hang shit up. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just gonna make my make my place look fantastic. Let's uh. We got the floors, we got the walls, let's uh Well, let's let's not let's not goof around with that for a little bit. First That's better. Let's go to bed. Because we've got more dreams to fulfill tomorrow. More American dreams. Now don't you go watching me through the wall, Billy! Alright, let's sleep to get. The dream continues. Man, what did I do to my certificate? I'm assuming that's my certificate of, uh... Certificate of work. Oh yeah, I didn't, like... I didn't send the thing off yet. That's alright. I can send it now. Yeah. And now we've got the blood orange ingested honey. Okay. Hi, barn finders. Bee Orchard was very famous here in Kazark for their honey. Sadly, after many bear attacks, the orchard was abandoned years ago. <laughs> Supposedly, it was Miko who sicked a bear on the orchard's owner out of jealousy over his growing bigger oranges. Help me get rid of the comp help to get rid of the competition too. Could you make blood orange infusion honey for me while you're there? I'm sure it's easy. I guess I guess we're go we're we're off to an orchard to oh it actually tells you what you're gonna need to that's nice. No, I did not sell Frog off stream. Frog is sitting there, ready to go. Uh, I will, I will show it to us when we get back. Sorry, I didn't see it before I left. Uh, apparently, apparently, we had the final component for the frog, even though the game didn't list it. So when I tried to complete it, it just completed. I don't know what was going on there. Like, this, it was weird. Trying to figure that stuff out was weird. Hmm. Sorry, I have to excuse me. This is a nice looking map. <laughs> oh, there's the bear. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. I appreciated that pun. Even if nobody else appreciated that pun, devs, I appreciated that pun. So what's this say? Looks like that bear drove the beekeeper crazy. I mean, a bear could do worse. A bear could definitely do worse to you. Than coming in and just eating all your honey. I, I, you know, just thinking about it, I'm just thinking about all the kinds of honeys there are. And I started thinking about Manuka honey. Like, which is apparently a honey that's so amazing. Everyone's like, oh yeah, like, it's like, it's hyper expensive. And people are like, oh yeah, you know, you, you can put it on your wounds and it'll seal your wounds up and, and it's really good for your wounds. So you'll be, uh, you know, you'll be super powerful. And I want to cross that bridge. And so I was just thinking, well, what happens if, a, like, a bear has Manuka honey? Does it become, like, far stronger than anyone can ever imagine? Oh, we got to do an auction here. I guess. Hope I got enough money for it. Uh, is, wait. Wait. Wait, is that bear bidding? Okay, good. Alright, as always with the auctions, I just immediately bid money immediately. Did, did you all give up, like, immediately? Really? <laughs> I've never seen them capitulate so quickly. Did I- have I rendered them all broke? <laughs> Did I destroy these people over the course of Pathfinders that they just don't have any money? <laughs> like, have I just forced them forced them to buy all of my cut cutthroat rated products? I'm just Aw. Wasn't Uncle Billy a massive fuck up at the summer camp? Uncle Bi <laughs> Uncle Billy was a massive fuck up everywhere. That's why we love him. You okay out there, buddy? 
Oh, that's right. I die if I go in water. I'm completely allergic to, to moisture. If I take a bath, I dissolve. I'm pretty sure uh, Jesus America is entirely composed of salt. Well, you have fun in there, at least. As long as somebody has fun in there. So while we're here, we gotta make honey, which is interesting. We can, like, take what we want, but... We got it. We gotta leave honey. Leave with honey. I mean, the bears are full of bears are full of honey, so they're probably pretty chill. I think if you remember correctly, we also had the uh, we also had the, the 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 alligators, and they were really chill at the swamp too. In fact, they were like a taxi service. So it could very well be Miko has successfully pacified all animals. Except for bees. Oh boy. The lockpick game. Which admittedly is still a lot better than like most other like games. I'm like actually really happy about that. Let's get rid of this top. There's probably something hidden under it. Okay, there isn't. I'll get you next time, top. Yeah, like, if there's one thing I could say about Australia is we, we might have lots of tiny, angry, nasty creatures, but we don't have giant, angry, nasty creatures. <laughs> I don't think anyone would live here if we did, but it's just, you know, it's one of those things you're like, man, it could have been way worse, couldn't it? Yeah, can I? Yeah, transport. Gas. I do wonder sometimes what the what the what the difference is. Like it's like, well, I'm gonna take the saw, this saw, but I'm gonna take this saw, like, because no one's gonna want to buy a, like a non-powered saw in America, I guess. Huh. Well, I definitely want to get the water wheel spinning. I wonder if I can like chop that. Damn, I am like just all up in these puzzles. I guess that's where they hose them off, hose themselves off after a nice day of of, of being. Make sure there's anything weird out here. I mean, there's there's something weird literally everywhere, but you know specifically here. <laughs> so chat's got a bit of a discussion about polar bears. Yeah, like. See, a polar bear is just something that's like, if someone says, oh yeah, there are polar bears here, I'm like, well, get, you know, that's what a coincidence, because there, there's not me here. I've gone, by, And then I would just like, be just like, there'd be like a me-shaped snow dust cloud. I'd be gone. Like, you, you could not be get me to stay in a place where polar bears are. Even a zoo, I would just like, go up to like, the zookeeper and just be like, look mate, it's, it's me or him. And he'd be like, what? Get out. Oh, there we go. Look at that. An actual use for the construction gun. Outside of, uh, outside of just changing things up inside. Oh, we are definitely getting in there. We are definitely swooshing straight in and just, like, stealing all the stuff. <laughs> Look, the tiny things got to cover more ground to catch you, so you do have more of a chance to run away. So, you know, like, that's what... I'm just going to pretend Billy walked in while my back was turned and he didn't just fucking phase through reality like he always does. Is this, a, is this another puzzle, Billy? You got something you want to say to me? Let's get walking. I mean, I'll stay right here. Hey, <laughs> hey. Yeah, I, yo, I haven't expected anything out of you for a while. Oh my god! Evil bear invading orchid from the Kazakh times. Hold on, let me... Let me read this. Bee orchid owner doesn't sleep in fear of Beer's Creek. <laughs> American Super News, now with more ads. Celebrity politics... Made up facts. Celebrities, politics, made... Okay, made up facts, okay. 
Miko takes over Bee Orchid after bear attacks. I do I do have a lot of questions about about this cover, but they are sexy questions. So I'm just gonna let go. I think I think I think that's eventually gonna be the oh. Oh, beekeeper guidebook. Well that's cool. We'll definitely not read that and we'll just sell it. Start a fire. <laughs> I just love valuable trash. Is there something here? I could have this one. I think it must have been the door. I do like this little cottage. It's got a nice homely feel to it. Collect three honeycombs and three blood oranges. Okay, so bee smashing is uh bee smashing is mandatory then. So I gotta pick out some oranges, pick up some some honeycomb. Greater puzzle. Obviously where that's that's where the oranges go. And I mean it's like we've literally got honey here. Nah, we're gonna sell this one. We're gonna make it fresh. Like that's that's you know, if we're gonna we we were asked to make some while we were there. This would violate the terms of the agreement. Just, you know. Just so much to... so much to sell. <laughs> just... Just going through, selling everything. Getting myself stuck. Okay, good. Getting myself unstuck. Man. Lots and lots of stuff in here. There's just so much stuff. It's dense with stuff, and I actually kind of like that. You know, it's like I like I like my dense with stuff stuff. You know, it's just just fill the fill the universe with with garbage, and I can get a, like I can get the dopamine hit from like smashing it or like selling it. No. Okay. Uh, I think we got I think we got about as much out of that as I conceivably probably should. Just check in here. And there's a tiny bunny in like everywhere. Old tiny bathrooms and everything. Can I sell the soap? I cannot sell the soap. Alright. Uh, is that Dark Samantha over there? Are you okay over there, Dark Samantha? Hold on a second. Just... You okay? Sorry for being rude to you sometimes. Oh. She said that as she was doing like the arm pump gesture. <laughs> like the get fucked gesture. So I don't know how I feel about that, but um, I'm taking Golden Destiny. Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. You've, uh, you've made your point. Also, I, I forgot there's an upstairs here. Is there not like a... Oh, there's a... You Are you coming for me? Wow. I was actually getting approached by B. Of all the things to bury. Man. Man, I got like bee threatened. That's why I didn't even I didn't go, go through this. Mm. 
Yeah, she's a complicated woman, Dark Samantha. Okay, that's good. That's for the, uh, the crib barn. I don't know what a crib barn is. But I don't know what a lot of things are. Oh, that's cool. What if that's a... What if that's a part of, like, a beekeeping suit you can make? Because we had, did have the Cosmonaut last time and everything like that. Oh, no, this takes me back. How many people have had computer setups running off one of those before? Actually, when I bought and, like, a, like got a computer assembled by some professionals, because I'm fucking bad at it, I tried, I'm bad at it, uh, they actually, for free, threw in one of those. So, that was sure was nice of them. <laughs> this is, uh, this is some Winnie the Pooh, uh, on acid right here. This is like Winnie the Pooh reimagined. That is, uh... That is some hundred acre wood, uh, in a bad way. Okay. Well, I feel like, uh, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Although, yeah. There's also that one over there. Let's go, let's go over to this one first. We're, we're already here, we might as well, this is where all the oranges are. Well, first I'm gonna go bother Billy. What's up, Billy? What you doing out here? Bear with me. I don't see it. Is there a bear with you? Yeah, just like that. Just, just finding things. It's, uh, it's my gift. I just sort of randomly stumble in the general direction of the golden toilet paper. It could be an invisible bear. It can't be seen with your bare eyes. That sort of thing. Can I climb? I can climb. But I think the question now is, why climb? Like, was there a point to climb? I, I don't... I don't see it. Cl climb seems like a thing I didn't need to do. <laughs> you know what? Okay! That's fine. I'm coming for that. You can't stop me, B. I've got I've got I've got what it takes to shut you down, B. That's probably what Miko used to bring the bears in. If we're being honest. What's your story? Do I need something to collect those then? That's weird. Cause it's making like a really... Nothing inside? Or is it just that's what it's saying? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can't do it while the bee's there? That's a weird noise though. Oh, I've got the axe out and it's not, it's not doing it, so I don't think that's, that's what's needed. Okay, so yeah, the uh, the beekeeping stuff is a collect like is an assemblage thing, so that's cool. Okay. That's a really really weird sort of like response though. Maybe I need like a bucket to put it in. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, there's a, there's no message playing, aside from woo woo woo, which kind of tells me. Yeah, I must need like something to collect them into, otherwise it wouldn't just be whistling at me so weirdly. Telling me to hit the tree with the axe. 
It's not gonna work, man. It's just, it's not gonna happen. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I must need a bucket, but it's still weird. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I missed something in the house. I'll just run back into the house and take a look. And then I'll head over to where the bees are, because maybe I can just kill all the bees. Because there's like a thing here. Like the honey jar, because I'm going to need to get the jar. I'm going to need the honeycombs. Okay, well. I don't see them, so we're just going to... We're just going to set that aside for the moment. And go see if we can't sort out the honeycombs over here instead. Maybe there's like a natural order. Or you need a brand new Miko tool. No, they didn't say I needed one. All I said that I was going to need was... Uh, was the ability to put these bees to silence. Because basically it was, you need an axe, which obviously is, was for removing the uh, the thing to get the, to get the wheel turning again. The, uh, the bee sleeper for, for pacifying them bees. Okay, that's weird. I've got a key. Okay. <laughs> so it's all going back to that that thief again, which obviously means it's moonshine time, delirium theater. I want everyone to just let that settle in. Also, I think the animation for the for the fluid coming out of the moonshine played before the animation for drinking the moonshine there, which uh, amused me at the very least. <laughs> Bunny hopping. And there. All right. Is that everything in here? Seems like it. Ooh, honeycomb wall. We're definitely gonna be setting that up inside when we get back. We're just gonna like make the gaudiest, ugliest. Po I mean, we've already done that, but we're gonna make we're gonna make another gaudiest, ugliest. No pawn shop. I've probably already made all the money back from the uh, from the auction just from like. Selling can't like jars <laughs> at this point. That's <laughs> probably the answer. Stop it, you're rich. Okay, so that's why I wouldn't open. I do, I do wonder, like, what the thought process was for the devs that led them to decide to do a bee themed level. Because on one hand, like, or just like do bee th theming as a thing. Because, like, I like it. I think it's funny. Um, it's definitely a, a breath of fresh air, but at the same time, it's, it's still a question of, I wonder what made them decide to, decide to go with bees, like, was it like, they sat there bro, oh, yep, sorry, angry yellow bee swarm, sorry guys, you know, was it like, a decision, nothing inside, oh my god, oh, oh, I see, you know what I was probably doing wrong, I probably wasn't holding the button down, That was that was probably why that wasn't working back at the blood oranges. You probably have to hold it down because they don't want you to just like grab it and run without like engaging in bee related mechanics. I'm dumb, but it's okay because I figured it out. 
the sound effect for like collecting the honey was a lot more sensible, I guess. Good, good job. Well, I mean, nobody else figured it out before me, did they? So that was the three. We needed three honeycomb for 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 B, didn't we? We needed three. Uh, you know, I don't think that's a B. Uh, I think that's actually Bigfoot. <laughs> Who we took very sexy pictures of uh, last time he was around in the uh, the summer camp thing. Hey, Bigfoot, you still around, dude? No. Bigfoot is just another bee colony. Oh my god, it's like Return to Oz. He's just been, like, he's just been turned into a bee colony. And if I can find out which one he is, within three tries, he's free. But if I don't, I turn into a bee colony. Before we go away too far. Okay, we've, uh, we've cleared this location out. Excuse me, ladies. Not pretty good over here, too. Yeah, let's go, let's go over and see if I can't just, like, hold down the button and collect, collect some B. Collect some, some orange, I should say. Or collect some B. Look around the outside. Oh, it says hold to interact, so yeah. Probably should have read that. Is that another digging site? Yes, it is. Oh god, okay. There's a lot. Actually, there's a lot of digging sites around here. I imagine that's where all of the goods are. Can you? Ah, god. You've got your hitbox is so chunky, my friend. My friend tree. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it right this time. I've forgotten all of my buttons. Okay, so that sound effect was the you're slowly collecting an orange sound effect. That makes sense now. <laughs> but earlier... Oh, there's nothing in there. I am disappointed in you. <laughs> Fucking sound effect. Oh dear. <laughs> Alright, so we needed three oranges, three honeycombs, and digging. Now I wonder, is there anything else in the area? Maybe not. Tried to try to do a crouch jump. I'll just go. No, it doesn't seem like it. All right, whatever. That must mean all of the treasure is back around the house. Then again, maybe not. Maybe it's back at the entrance. Who is to say? Okay, well. Shut up! So. Uh. Are you serious? Game? Are you, are you, are you fucking serious right now? What is my life right now? Is this. Is this how my life ends? Okay. So I've got I've got pulp. Uh uh kind of missing something very important though, aren't I? <laughs> just just a little. Is that is that jar there? Or is it is it like not there? 
Well, I'm pressing the button to interact, so that generally, that means to me I'm missing the, the actual thing for it, which is... No, the generator seems to be running. I think the problem is, is I don't have the container for it, which is strange. Poke my head around for a bit. Don't mind me. Guess I, uh. I hear the I hear the gentle pinging of a of a poster. Sounds like it's actually coming from... Ah, oh, I see it now. Sorry, not a poster, a floor tile. There we go. Now we got both! So now we can like... Okay, I'm just gonna fall in the water. That's good enough. So I guess there's like a honey container around here that I haven't been paying attention. God, it would be it would be like the most minor of things that I've like missed. I genuinely couldn't tell you where it's where it's supposed to be though. I kind of feel like this is supposed to be a suggestion to where it might be because Bigfoot, but could just be a prank. <laughs> I would like to build a giant teepee here and compose some music for a didgeridoo. I I, f I feel like you've got like a culture clash thing going there that's that's not really working out for you, Sebastian, but you know what, you... Okay. That's Jembi. It really does look like a sort of getting to the point now where I'm, uh... <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to get the bees to death ball some sand and turn it into glass. <laughs> That is a, uh, that is a big brain suggestion. Oh, hold on a second. That's, uh, where you are. Oh, there we go. That's probably all the items, so now I'm just like, I gotta get the honey. And the honey's probably, like the, the honey container's probably like the last thing I gotta get. Yes, I think it is. Well then, I guess I better get honey hunting. Knowing me, it's probably was like back at the beginning. This gives me sleepy bees. Best to just retrace my steps. Make sure I haven't missed anything. But the general the general feeling I'm getting is is that I'm probably just misreading the situation. Like the problem with the glasses, the glass seems a little indistinguishable from the. Uh... Well, I mean the glass the glass isn't blue, so I think the glass is honestly. To me, to me, if I think the the glass container wasn't highlighted blue, like the thing you need to put on thing, so. So it should technically be there already, I think. But it's like honey jar puzzle. Do I need more graders? Do I need? Because I've got, I've got the honey where it's needed. It's a door. 
So honey extraction puzzle, honey jar puzzle. Unless I need, unless I need more. I like it to cast the shadow. <laughs> Think you may need six more oranges. Hold on a second. Well, let's talk to let's talk to fucking. <laughs> Sting moonshine. That's interesting. I could have sworn it said I only needed three of each. So I don't know. Maybe I'm super stupid. Poke around, see if there's any more to grab, but it m I think it actually might even just be a thing where there aren't any more to grab. Yeah, I don't, I think. I, just, well, the thing is, it doesn't matter if it's three shavings or not, because I literally cannot find any more, they're all all the... I'm pretty sure it was just three three oranges to make shavings, unfortunately. And unfortunately that means uh, either something's not working or I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> and I don't have... I don't have the... Uh, yeah, I don't... I just don't have the, the necessary information to tell if I'm fucking up or if the game's fucking up. Because the game is a little janky, but at the same time, my brain is a little janky. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out why this is here. Like, why is this here? What, like, what is the purpose of this? Like, why is... Why am I able to do this? I just don't know. Cause it like it's got a look about it like it's. Do I just hold? No, it's a it's a click to interact. See, I would think if I needed to put it down there, it would be blue like that, right? But then I'm like I'm missing something, or the puzzle is broken. Have you tried the red button on the side of the barrel? I, I Yeah, I have, actually. I've been clicking on it for a bit. Oh, God. There's a button next to it. That's the... <laughs> I was trying to flick these things. The green and the red switch. Because you would think that that... <laughs> I should spot this. Ah, oh, God. You know, in a lot of games, you finish the puzzle and you feel real smart, but in this game, you finish the puzzle and you feel fucking stupid. But... Calm down. Yeah, like, everyone was thinking, oh, it's the green and the red button, right? And, like, when I moused over it, it was like, this is the puzzle you gotta do. If I j ever just moused slightly to the left, I would have noticed the big slap button on the side. Hey, kiddo, bears indeed do it in the woods. Oh, well, there you go. Uncle Billy has, in fact, solved one of the greatest riddles of our time. And we got everything, too. I am glad that the chat response to that was, what the fuck? <laughs> it wasn't just me. <laughs> uh, that was great. That shouldn't have been as funny as it was, but by God, I'll take it. Alright, let's grab, uh... Let's grab the beekeeper bits and go assemble a beekeeper for a sale. That's a powerful pose. Oh, I can tell. I can tell you when Uncle Billy gets an idea uh, in his head, he uh, he'll 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 hunt it down relentlessly. Also, he probably accidentally stepped in something. 
and was like, ah, and then the bear was like, oh, sorry, and he's like, ah, dang, need these damn bear done shit in my boots. A bear done shit in my pants, is what he declared. Oh, that's... Well, it says it's inserted, so I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna let the game have that be inserted. <laughs> oh, Alright. This game. It's just, this, this game has just started to amp up the jank pretty, pretty impressively. Alright, let's just, uh... Yeah, it just works! Alright, let's... Let's send the honey off. 400 bucks. Nicely done. It keeps saying I've got emails, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I read every single email in here, and I, I don't even... I don't even know. Uh... Nothing to put on the wall. More tires. See? There you go, family. You were asking about the, uh, I'm asking about the frogs. We got, we got Frog Circus here. We will, uh, we will sell that when we start selling things. Probably after the next area. Uh, there's, there's probably going to be like a Miko event as well. But right now, we, sh we should be wasting our hard-earned money immediately. Here we go. Uh dear. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll go to sleep. I'll sell all this stuff so we got heaps of money because we got so much in storage. We'll do a big, we'll do a big sale sequence, and that way, uh, that way we'll be ready for tomorrow. Also, something we should check. Let's just check the item catalog for a moment here. Yeah, so I got some American Dream stuff here too, and we should probably just do this because. It might unlock another car, if we're good enough. Let's just do this. Just need one more. Okay, it doesn't. There is no new car. Well, that is most unfortunate, actually. Miko trombone. I wonder what's different from a regular trombone. No, oh. we're just gonna we're just gonna make ourselves an extra bunch of five dollar notes. All right. Well, obviously, if I'm gonna be going on and selling everything tomorrow, I need to I need to get this place ready to go. I want people I want people coming from miles around to. Uh... Huh. Not much care for that. Man, there aren't really that many options here, are there? Oh god, there's not even any options there. Oh, the neon sign! Oh, okay! Well, naturally, we gotta make that white. Yellow. We definitely want a yellow. <laughs> We're gonna get this place looking as bee-like as we possibly can. Is there really nothing here? There we go. Yeah, looking, looking good. Perfect. That's the barn I wanted. Absolutely perfect. People are going to be coming from miles around to behold the barn finders stuff. I should really, I should really be my room up as well.
There we go. <laughs> yeah, we'll do some we'll do some selling. Now, we've uh Some of posters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it begins. Barn Finders is open for business. It's time to sell the Frog Circus and a whole lot of other crap. It's time for me to go cross-eyed, trying to do like the timing thing again. Yeah. All right. So first off, the first off, the rank Iron Arden for uh, this guy. His name I've already forgotten. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I still can't pronounce that. <laughs> it's such an American name too. It's like, I'm just going to haggle as hard as I can to sell off, like, a hard hat. Nice. Just every time we sell something, slap something else down. we got 36 things in storage and 26 things on shelves. We're going to be here a while. We're going to be here even longer if Agent Agent keeps turning up. I guess he's finished with all the bodies now. Uh, Jack's ready to go bury them. It's good. I just don't know how one person can be so happy in their picture, and then, like, when they look at you, it's just like... <laughs> I forgot they just called this guy Auction. <laughs> like, it's, like, it's like you think, oh, like, he's just the Auction guy, but no, that's his actual name his parents gave him. He was, like, this is, like, predestined. <laughs> Judgment Day. Bum 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 bum. Even got cute bee designs on it. You'll be blinded by our prices here at Barn Finders, and also our wallpaper, and our floor, and our outside wall, and also the flashlight that I'll probably turn on and spray in your eyes when you're trying to talk to me. Is that like an illegal sales tactic? To like, talk to somebody, and it's like when you're trying to sell them, and then if they ask you like a difficult question or something you don't want to answer, you just turn the flashlight on your head on? Is that like assault? It's probably assault, isn't it? Oh, oh, I started to go cross light. <laughs> God help me. Oh dear, I'm gonna need glasses after this stream. Yeah, that's fine. We've got so much stuff to get rid of. Also, uh, Jack's outside wants to sell us some cabling. <laughs> I'm not going near anywhere near Jack and he's fucking cabling. We've got so much stuff to sell, I'm not gonna buy something. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> We're just not gonna look at it. We're just gonna ignore him. Yum, yum, hey, Bubba. Yeah. Ah, an express coffee machine. I want an espresso machine, but I've got nowhere to put it. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Is it is it an interrogation technique or a sales <laughs> technique? Though the flashlight to the face thing. <laughs> I'm being very generous today. The only person I'm going to stiff is Duke. He even shows his face in here and he doesn't like what I'm selling. Like, bye. I wonder who wants to become a bee master. Well, Isa is definitely down for some motherfucking disco right now, and I am down with Isa.
I thought you were. I thought. I thought Keijo was looking for some. Looking for some racket action, but nope. I'm sorry, some guitar action, but not racket action. Instead, gonna play some. I guess old tennis or badminton. I'm not sure. I've I've heard I've heard wonderful stories about like weird sales <laughs> tactics that like supermarkets have tried. Someone was telling me they once like opened a business in a like in a in a sort of a building that had once belonged to a supermarket and they the floors had to be get redone because the floors had been done such a way in this supermarket they sloped very slightly towards the back of the store like so because the idea was that people would be like drawn to the back of the store and then like just by like inertia of like gravity or whatever whatever you call it and just like because their their trolley is just slowly being like encouraged to roll in that direction and while i'm not entirely sure i believe that story at the same time i would fully i would fully imagine some like some asshole just being like just being like if we if we make the floor just like you know just at the right angle They'll all go to the back of the store where we'll have all the expensive stuff. It's just, it's just like, it's just that kind of diabolical <laughs> insanity, sales psychology that just, you know, I would not, would not even be remotely surprised were it true. But at the same time, of course, I'm just like, I'm a little skeptical. Come buy stuff. I don't want your washing machine. Come buy stuff. I've got frogs. Ha! No keys, Joe. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's greedy. She's greedy. She's going for a full discotheque. Why well, does keys, Joe, want to cut her? Uh, you know, probably trying to set up some tennis stuff, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Who's gonna get the pumps? I feel like two people at a time just isn't nearly enough. Like we need more people. <laughs> Where is he? There we go. I, I shanked the thief. I'm sure we're all very excited. Okay, so uh, Sebastian's gonna gonna keep some bees, I guess. He's a guy I can actually trust to keep bees. He's probably already got the smoking stuff for it as well. Baby, adult. Oops. Oh, yeah, well, you're 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 lucky. I'm in a hurry to like show more video game, buddy, or else I wouldn't. Uh, you know, or else I or else I'd like you know tell you to take a hike. Like, my brain just turns to goo after a little bit of doing that. Like, I'm almost like, when do I hit it? When do I hit it? And I just like, ugh. Anyway. <laughs> it, I'd love, it should work just on your can of drink. <laughs> How do you, like, the, like, the big question what is, is what happens when, like, a soft drink or soda, like, doesn't work right? Does it taste bad, or does it like violently like corrode your insides? Like how, what, what level of it doesn't work are we talking about here? Hello, <laughs> hello, hello, no, 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 <laughs> God help me. Damn, even when I hit the green bit, couldn't you have taken a dollar more? Because then it would have been nice. 
So she was trying to sell us her washer, but we've got this superior hand wringing washer right here that we dug out of like a hole in the ground at a bee keeping place for bees. Really, nothing to put on the medium wall. Hey, Sebastian, you here for the you here for the big old coffee machine, huh? So obviously for the bees, he's gonna he's gonna put the bees in a coffee machine. Make him just work extra hard. Hi, <laughs> I like the idea of just like heavily caffeinated bees just flying around really fast and just being like, yeah. You're too generous. Hmm. Thanks. Buy the fucking frogs. Do it. Buy them. I could fall on it, break it, and buy it. Oh, he's gonna... Turbo Calf is always a name. <laughs> he's always so happy to be here. Like, Turbo Calf is just one of those people, just like when you finish the sale, and he's just like, yeah. You're just like, you're just like, you feel good about it. You feel pretty good about having like charged him way too much for a for a fucking one hundred year old thing that no one's ever gonna find a practical uh -huh. use for. Uh huh. Oh. Like seriously, man. Like, do you do you act? Do you see anything suspicious? Uh, look, everybody teleports in here in cl cloud of dust, including you. Like, define suspicious. No one comes in the door, cause the door is closed, and yeah, everyone comes in here. I am shocked. No one wants to buy the wants to buy the circus, the Dat Boy Circus. I'm actually starting to get upset. God, sorry, my brain just went to goo again. Oh god, I, I just went, I just went so unbelievably cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what it is about that fucking moving line today, but it is fucking me up some piece. <laughs> like it's not giving me a headache or anything. I'm just getting hypnotized by it. I want to buy Golden Destiny. Okay, good. Okay, good. All right. Whoa, Jesus. Maybe I'm just like the. My, I'm concentrating too hard. I think is the problem. I should just like go with the flow. Okay. Thank you for giving me a few quick ones, but I can I can take a faster one now. Here we go. Like my entire body just physically seizes up as I prepare for the right moment to do it, and I think I don't think that's not healthy. Ah, <laughs> oh, curse my dumb animal brain. They should buy the frogs. I don't care if they are garbage people, they should buy frog. Frog good, buy frog circus. Frog circus, most important centerpiece in store, buy. Oh, fuck off, agent, agent. <laughs> it's also the most expensive thing in the store, and I'd like to sell it for that reason. Cola, cola. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I do. Come buy it. Come buy it. I said. Oh. I'm starting to think if I anything I put here, Jack's just gonna buy it. I'm starting to think that's like. We've been thinking all like these weird things about him, but I think he literally just does his favorite palette, and he just likes buying things that are on that palette. <laughs> yeah, I will. Not <laughs> if it's the last thing there, we will. Uh, we will just. We will just keep going until like we'll just go and get some more stuff. We can't. We can't. You know, 
Like, someone has to come in and buy it of their own volition, not because it's the only thing left. <gasps> Lady Dragon! Oh. You, I am so disappointed in you. <laughs> like, you wouldn't believe. Like, I have thrown myself across the fucking room to hug you, and you're like, can I buy the microwave? And I'm just like, you fucking disgust me. Buy the frogs, you goddamn psycho! <laughs> I'm just frothing at the mouth. Oh God, hey Bobby, you will not believe like the the day I've been having. There have been a lot of buttons in it and a lot of like weird buttons. Honestly, the alien stuff hasn't been as, like, uh, prevalent this time. I mean, it, like, obviously the collectibles of the Moonshine and Delirium Theater and, like, the thief that appears when we see it, but they're sort of, like, like toned down on, like, the super weird alien stuff and they're letting the area speak for themselves, which has been nice. Where are you? Oh, don't you even fucking think about, like, stealing something next to the Frog Circus. <laughs> I'd be so upset if you steal something that's not the Frog Circus. I, I hate that animation because he's quite literally putting a cigarette out on my floor. It fucking upsets me so much. Like, he's, what, he just... He just fucking... He just goes, Hey man, just put it on me sig in your bee. I'm just like, no, don't do it. Where the fuck is Agent Asian, even? I suppose I shouldn't care, but it's still weird. Beekeeping suit, still not as valuable as the frogs. <laughs> still, that's a pretty good price. <laughs> he thinks the honeycombs are ashtrays. Curse, curse my floor. My curse my wonderful aesthetic design. <laughs> oh wow, we, we're all out of big items now. So everything is just going to be like small shelf items now. <laughs> and like... The wall. No one is, like we bought. We've seen a tennis racket sold on the wall, and nothing else. It's kind of wild. <laughs> oh fuck off, Agent Agent. <laughs> you're like you are literally the worst thing this game has, and I and I spent like ten minutes trying to find a small button. <laughs> I would I would spend another hundred years searching for a button on stream as everyone else dies of old, like rapid onset old age, and then then have to deal with you for another second. It's like, why can't I, why can't I, you know, put, take a knife to, I see, I was going to finish that sentence, but it's like, I, you know, suggesting that you want to stab a government agent, even a fictional one, probably doesn't go down so well. Why can't I kidney punch agent agent? Like, why can't I? Look at those dead eyes. Those dead eyes that somehow can't see aliens, but can see that, you know, that they're bothering me. Go away, Bubba. I don't want to worry over you. silly. Sebastian? Sebastian? Sebastian, where are you, Sebastian? <laughs> Hello? It says you're here, but you're not. Were you, like, invisible, Sebastian? <laughs> Sebastian fell into the void. That's always a bit sad to see. This is like, hey, the, the the dimensional portal. Where? Fucking god damn it, Bubba! Are you like, how did you camouflage on honeycomb? Like, fuck off! Like, 
Don't don't do that ever again. You can just yeah. con you're confusing my entire existence. Whoa -ho -ho. God, what was that noise? Whoa. -ho. <clears throat> come on, come on guys. Somebody's gotta buy the circus. Surely someone's gonna buy the circus. Surely someone one day will buy the circus. Surely. One day. I've never been more offended in my life, to be honest. Oh. It's never going to sell. Don't say that! It has to sell! We spent uh -huh. so long collecting pieces for it, an entire oh, yeah. game. <laughs> It's, it's, it's such a wonderful, perfect thing. Surely, surely we're going to sell it. <laughs> Fugs are haunted. Yeah, haunted by great value. <laughs> the ghost of, you regret, you regret it. You regret not buying it, okay. Just to a music store now, I guess. Come on. Come on. I'm a hero. <laughs> Give me your money. Yeah, yeah, no, that's exactly how I feel. I, I can do it to them while I'm... <laughs> Samantha? You you here, Samantha? Man, sometimes it's fucking weeding me out how they do that. Boom. Honestly, I probably... Well, I don't know. There's nothing out back to... Mm. I don't know. Sometimes I think this game just voids people. <laughs> sometimes I think it just voids them. Like, just expels them into the void. Because I swear to God, like... <laughs> I don't, I don't see him. Sometimes if you're like standing where they are, you don't see him and you have to move away for a bit. And it might just be I'm standing in exactly the perfect place to like shoot them into like the dark beyond. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any vehicles out there to buy, so either. So I don't know what's Okay, so we've now run out of storage items for the for the shelf. So I'm guessing the last six items all go up on the big wall. The uh no one's really been going for this one either. Yeah, I spoke a little too soon on that one. Still, look at all that money rising up. Considering how much I blew on floors, uh, we're doing pretty good now. Yeah, it's just like, it's blowing my mind that no one wants to buy the frog. The frog is, the frog is literally perfect. Frog Circus is the most wonderful, perfect thing humanity has ever created, and... Hmm. Have you heard about the elves? Like, f like, seriously. So perfect, and yet, and yet, so not one. That, that was just weird. <laughs> he just left and came back in the same place. Samurai turtle. I guess there's like artwork on it I can't see because it looks so grody. <laughs> but I should pay a pretty pin for it, you know. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 just 
boy, I hear the noise again. We're, we're whittling it down. Like, I'm going to end it the second we sell that, or if it's the last one. Like, it's basically a race to see uh, which breaks first, the bank or my heart. My faith in these people is, like, dwindling. Sebastian, please just buy a frog. Buy all the frog. He did it again. He just did it again. If you come into my store, you don't buy my frog and you put your cigarettes out on my f my beautiful new honeycomb floor. I, uh, if I didn't want your money so much, I'd tell you to be gone. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the advice on this poster and just <laughs> commence. Ah, oh, come on, Duke. Uh, no. yeah. I mean, I, you know, I had no faith the Duke was ever gonna like sort me out, but whatever. Dance is definitely hey. something. The big bass doesn't look that different to the rest of them, unless they're all the big basses. But I thought they were all electric guitars, so I'm, I'm a little confused now. In other, like, yeah. in, like, when I first played this game, like, Frog Circus got snapped up very quickly. Okay, so it is different, yeah. So it is a different model. I got for, it's just like, <laughs> how many bass guitars do you need? A lot, apparently. Mm. You know, with all your purchasing decisions, Jack, you're the last person I trust with an animal. But I'll let you have the case for it. Mm. I bet you he puts that small in when he leaves. Like, man, I've been like paying to fuck with this guy is probably like you know my favorite thing to do. I'll never stop doing it. I don't care if I'm gonna go bankrupt. I'm gonna make this man uncomfortable every chance I get. <laughs> Seriously. Wow, a whole two dollars. Mm -hmm. Curse your entire existence. <laughs> hey, Samantha. Yeah, so you're going for the electric guitar. There we go, now my favorite musical instrument. The suspension. Come on, game, don't do me like this. Don't do the frogs like this. We've been at this for like minutes. We're almost out of things in the storage. <laughs> we're just we're all just like being slowly crushed. Luckily, I know the next barn is gonna pick us all up. The next barns uh, are, yeah. but there's only one more like one more barn to visit after this. There's also gonna be like a Miko sales event, which is probably gonna be next if uh, if they space if they're spacing these things out sensibly. A Miko auction, which is why selling all this stuff and getting loads of money is probably very important. Gumball, dude. Alright. Oh, 
there she is. She's missing again. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Like, sometimes, sometimes people just exist in the void, I guess. We're very rapidly running out of hope here. Yeah, yeah. There was there's, there's a brief moment of hope uh, that like she was gonna buy it, but there's only the torch over there. So once the torch is gone, there's really there's gonna be nothing there's gonna be nothing left. Uh, but over here, but frog. So if they don't go for it, then I don't know. Like. I don't know how this game decides where people go to shop, why they stand where they stand, but it does seem like that corner is very popular today. It's rare to see, uh, rare to see you out of your corner as well, Jack. It's just, uh, spicing it up a little, I guess. Dwindles. Let's get painting up there instead. Well, the microphone is the last thing in that corner aside from Frog, so. <laughs> you know, this is this uh -huh. is the moment of reckoning. After this, it's like if no one goes near it. Something's gone horribly, horribly wrong with this timeline. Pam, 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 pam. Ha ha ha! Woohoo! Only got ten items left. <laughs> we started with like forty something, and it's like this is still here. This is this is getting heartbreaking. There's only really like a. Oh, uh, Samantha, please. The stinky house is actually probably, that's probably the best portrait name I've ever seen. Ah, oh, it's elbow too. That puts us over the 30,000 mark, which is nice. This means, uh... I mean, if the auctions are anything like, uh, like the last auction we had for the, for the fucking bees. Wow, jeez, no, it gets so threatening. Yeah, she's trying to menace me. I should've just torchlighted her. Okay. Come on. Come on, game. Don't do this to the frogs. Don't do this to Amadeus and his buddies. Don't do it to that boy. Don't do it to don't do it to the brothers. Oh, for fuck's sake, finally. <laughs> Alright, with that we're closing up for the day and we're gonna go. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Thank God. I don't think I was ready for what would have happened if that didn't actually sell, so... Miko Unicorns Award. Also, the Goldfish event. Hello, Barn Finders. We are hosting a new special event, the Goldfish. Don't be shy. Bring more money than you can carry and make the American Dream a reality. Win the secret prize by defeating other losers just like you. Good luck. Don't forget to bring a lot of money, a lot. Well, we might do that last then. We might sell everything and then go there to try and get the special thing. So let's do, uh, let's do the Miko's Unicorn Award. Hey kid, I'm the famous Lightning Steve Koskins from Miko Unicorns, but surely you know that. Well, I know that because it says it's from Steve Koskins, but thank you. Today is your lucky day. You have a rare opportunity to help a real star like me. 
After the downfall of Miko Unicorns, I left my horse rider trophy in their barn. Bring it to me, boy. I want to look at it before falling asleep in my mother's basement. <laughs> uh, I got real. Uh, is that it? The Unicorn Stud Farm? One of many stud farms belonging to Miko Unicorns Horse Racing Team. After it was discovered that Miko was doping their horses, the team was disbanded. Now they're stud horses for sale. Alright. That was might have been like that rare moment where Dark Samantha was feeling really horrible for all the time she called me a grass hole. <laughs> I still love that. It's like, I'm sorry I'm so mean to you, but fuck off! I think she's got like a medical condition. So this is the final map. The, the thing I said would be a pick-me-up. We're off to, uh, we're off to where they breed and make unicorns. Yeah, they've got a show track. Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay. So I was a bit worried it was my spirit animal. <laughs> Let me be your magic guide. You know, I those eyes kind of scare the shit out of me. So you you know what? You tell me. You tell me you're gonna you're gonna guide me around this place. I'm gonna do exactly what you tell me. Cause that, those were some those were some fucking magically soulless eyes right there, and I was I was creeped and skeeved. As always, waste time smashing literally everything. Even though I'm pretty sure we got all the wood we're ever gonna need, even for the bee for the bee buzzer. Yeah, apparently we're gonna need all the money we can carry for that last event. So I'm definitely going to uh, definitely gonna take a lot of fucking money. Oh no! Hello, Hi Wang and Hi Wang's channel with your your god raid. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're playing the new Bind Finders DLC. I probably should have told you what we're doing. We're at the Unicorn Farm. You've missed the, uh, the Diner Barn and the, uh, and the, and the bee, the, like, the honey place where they make honey. I don't know what they call those. Like, a bee arium. <laughs> That's fucking... That was, that was good. Bee arium. That's what we're gonna call it. So we're, uh, an Aplary? That can't be real. That can't be real. <laughs> I refuse to believe that's a word. You can you can trick me on a lot of things. You can tell me you can tell me a lot of things, but like, yeah, be be orchid. See, even they didn't know what the term was. So this is a. I like this. This is. We're just. We've just got a traditional barn here. For those of you who aren't familiar with barn finders, I'll just explain the name of the game. I walk around taking things that aren't mine and I sell them. And anything I can't take with me, I uh. I I sell. Uh, I I I I sell or I smash for resources that I use for later. Uh, until there is nothing left of this place but the, like the desolate remains of somebody else's American dream. <laughs> you can't confuse me with your with your correct words that are probably correct. I still refuse to believe it. You know, like it it might it might be correct, but I refuse to I refuse to accept that it's right. You wanna... Wanna tell me what mm -hmm. you're doing up here? Are you... Are you... I... I'm just gonna tell you right now, if... If I went into, a, like, a dark corner of a barn, and a grown man said to me, Do you believe in magic? 
I I think I would be running. So what have we got here? Oh, unicorn breaches. Apparently there's a unicorn outfit we'll be assembling. <laughs> I don't think there's I don't think there's any situation where 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 do you believe in magic in in the dark dank barn doesn't end up like destroying all concept of joy and magic in a young child's heart. Uh, let's see now. Can I... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was an accident. That was not what I meant to do at all. And now I'm just like, picking up things I didn't want to pick up. I think I fucked up. Let me get some barrels. Yeah, no, I, they were probably doing the song reference, along with, like, the Team Fortress 2, the Pir Meet the Pyro video reference, but... <laughs> I just, you know... I don't like, I don't like Agent Agent. I don't trust Agent Agent. Agent Agent's entire existence to me is an aberration on the timeline of Barn Finders. Okay. Let's see if there's actually anything here. <laughs> fucking all that work. Yay! There is an invisible wall, invisible wall here. It's pretty good. Not anything behind it, is there? It's a little dirt on the ground. Well, that's cool. I don't need to, like, pick up and mess around with that. Oh, what's up, Sebastian? <laughs> yeah, hey, dude. I feel like under the light, your facial hair is like... Oh, God, your face is just morphing in the worst ways possible. <laughs> it's just... It's just the worst. We want you on our team. To dope our unicorns. Oh, oh no. So, on the second of list of things that kind of worry me, when someone says, I'm a spirit animal, release me. Magic binds me to this location. I will be yours forever. I'm just like, no. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, please, please, can we just, like, I'm, I'm just here to get, I'm here to get some guy's trophy. Uh, I don't want, I don't want a spirit animal that's a unicorn with its eyes rolled up into the back of its head. I just want, I just want to, I want to sell things in a barn. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose before we get too far ahead of ourselves, oh, uh, let's, let's have a drink. Yeah, the anime, the animation of that is playing before I actually drink it now. It's, a, it's good scuff. I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home. I won't be here anymore. I hate this place. Just, just let me just dig up my crap and get out of here. Let me just dig up these giant steaming piles of horse doo doo and collect something out of it so I can like sell it. Probably gonna have to hose that down twice. Don't want a sparkle pony. I don't. I don't like. I don't. I'm not even one of those people that likes. Like horses freak me out. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna admit it now. They don't scare me. They freak me out. Like horses are just weird things with giant chompy teeth that like die for no reason. I don't. <laughs> I. I. There's no animal I feel more uncomfortable around than a horse. There's just something. Primarily ups unsettling about them. I don't know there's gonna be people out there who are like, horses are beautiful, wonderful creatures. I'm sure they are, but my entire being rejects them completely. I will never climb onto a horse's back ever in in anyone's existence. Kill all exactly. I'm about to 
I thought we were the greatest collectors already. By virtue of like... <laughs> Horses are large majestic beasts who die accidentally... Who die if they accidentally trip and fall wrong. Yeah. I mean we talked... Like Kuka and I talked about it in the Neo Let's Play. That there is like a fucking... Is a... Can I get hit with that? Like a, there's like a spirit, like a spirit guardian, based around the concept of a wind just suddenly kicking up, uh, a freaking out a horse, and making it fall over and die. Oh, cool, a maze. We'll we'll get right back to that, shall we? It's uh. I'm still not sure what that thing I picked up was. I didn't. I thought it was a. I thought it was something I sold for trash, and now I sort of got it collected as a. As an important war item, we need all the money we can get if we're gonna if we're gonna win the uh, win the the goldfish. I'm really excited about the goldfish now. It's like what 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 have they got at the goldfish auction? Like what are we gonna win? Like a giant goldfish car, a car made out of goldfish, something incredibly disappointing. Yeah, it's a bee maze as well. It's like cool. <laughs> Just, you know, be maze me up. I don't care. As long as I don't have to ride a horse, I'll uh, I'll go into whatever fucking bee maze you want me to. I got my I got my bee gas. I'm gonna gas a bee. Oh, there's some music playing now. It's not spooky music. Certainly interesting choice of music. Letting this music sit in, settle in. <laughs> I kind of like it. Oh, I hear it. So I'm guessing our reward for progressing through the maze is going to be the toilet paper. Always good advice for mazes is like hug the left. I'm gonna ignore that in favor of it's not that big a maze, so I feel like I could just goof around as necessary. <laughs> I say before immediately going down exactly the same path as last time. Hey Harry, what are you doing in the maze? <laughs> oh okay. Well, that's awfully nice of you. It makes me want to start a fire so I don't have to deal with the maze. Well, judging by the gentle humming sound. Earth, Earth is flat, flat, flat. The, the crazy hobo has just been getting increasingly concerning with his theories. Like, he was right about the aliens. But we've been into space. The Earth isn't flat, the Earth is just simply America. Well, there we go. Oh, look at that, way out. There's not anything around here, is there? Nah, we good. Oh, come on, let me out. Come on. <laughs> okay, come on. Are you fucking serious with me right now? Do it! Fuck it. Okay, fine. You know what? Fuck you. I don't even care. I'm just gonna go back the way I came. This isn't even a large maze. I don't even know why you bothered. Uh, 
Hey, look at that. Oh. That's been there the whole time and I missed it. Alright, next step, let's go inside the... Okay, let, next step, let's not go inside that. Uh, because we don't have the key. The key is probably inside the house. Oh dear, I'm not looking forward to when I accidentally release the, the magical unicorn upon us. I'm not really, I'm not really down for this. I don't want, I don't want whatever that thing is selling. I have a strict no opening the door to magical creatures policy. That's a cursed picnic setup, I gotta say. That's just like, you've got your hot dogs. <laughs> they aren't cooked. So. No, nothing. I was kind of expecting something to like jump out or something. I don't even hear like a gentle humming of a poster or anything. Game just like, you know, it's subverting me. What if you sold the magical unicorn parts? You know what? That's. Th I'm. If I was able to sell it like a car, then yeah, I guess. As long as it's somebody else's problem. Because it's just. I don't trust that. I really don't trust that, and neither should you. I don't think there's like a, 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 a reality where you should trust ma a magical creature. Like, like they bound it here. They've bound it here. Like it has straight up admit admitted it has been bound here. You only you only bind demons to locations. Like you don't bind horses, pegasi, things like that. And it's been here a long time. I'm gonna break in. Okay, so it's yeah, cool. Easy. Just, just why? Oh well, if we wanted to horse theme our uh, our pawn shop, now we've got just horse wall now. Uh, you know, I'm I'm still not entirely convinced that this entire ho this entire thing isn't just like a result of uh, like overindulgence in moonshine, I guess. Jesus Christ, that thing was full of a lot of wood. It is, am it is amazing what you can just like find inside of a, like a, a small pool ball. It's like it's like the tart. It's like we just smashed up like like some very small racist Tardis or something. You really, you just, you should go, like, immediately go. <laughs> the more stuff you have, the more afraid you'll be someone will steal it from your pawn shop. That's true. That's definitely true. But thankfully, uh, no, you know, no one ever turns up in large enough numbers for, like, the thief to, like, sneak past me. The, yeah, the fact we can't take the pool table with us is a little, uh, a little upsetting. I'm, uh, I'm uh, straight up admit I wanted to take it. I'm actually, the room I'm in, uh, when I, when I do this actually has a really old tournament sized billiard, like, billiard pool table behind me. It's, used to play it a lot when I was little. It's phenomenal. But, uh, time has worn it down, unfortunately. And restoring it would cost a lot. <laughs> so they gave the horses LSD!
I feel like this is a lesson we can all take regarding uh, regarding being, you know, when you're successful, accepting that, you know, not everything lasts and just going out on top. It ain't easy to do. I'd feel awful if I destroyed the billiard table for, uh, I guess that's a, a you know, my husband is a horse. Oh yeah, we've, uh, we've, uh, we've collected that book before, so, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think I'd forgive myself if I had to wreck a, you know, a giant billiard table for whatever reason. Randomly or intentionally. We need all the money we can get. We want to win the goldfish. Whatever that means. I feel like that's gonna... I feel like the name Goldfish is just gonna have absolutely nothing to do with what's actually gonna happen. But it's such a random name, I can't help but be intrigued and wonder what's gonna happen. <laughs> as, you, as you get older, you know, you can go out on top or you can take performance enhancing drugs and destroy your, destroy your entire legacy. It's always really sad being, seeing people who've had things like that happen too, like, and they spend, like, the rest of their lives just trying to tell everybody, uh, you know, no, you don't understand, I had to do it. Everybody else was doing it. Even though I spent so much time saying anybody else who did it and got caught was a monster, uh, you know, like, I had to do it. You know, I, I run a, I run a charity, like, I needed to do it. It's just like, oh my god, dude, just, like, go, stop. <laughs> Except your L. I hope it's a shark painted yellow. That's an interesting thought. Firstly, that uh, that a goldfish would be a shark, and secondly, that someone would have been able to get it hold the hold still long enough to uh, <laughs> to paint it to paint it yellow. Also, to get the paint dry. You know what I mean? That would that would be. I, you know what, like, if you can paint, successfully manage to paint a sea creature, a certain colour, you know what, you've already, you've pretty much already won. Aww. Aww. He'd, he'd probably be dead by this point in the game. Because I'm pretty sure this is set in 1991, and I don't know if a horse would live that long. <laughs> They're weird creatures, horses. I don't actually know how long they live. But... You know, I don't know a lot of things. I don't know the term for uh, a place where you, you make honey is. See, Lady Dragon was trying to sell us a washing machine, but we, we found a perfectly good washing machine right here and stole it. That was probably broke something and died, yeah. That's like the saddest thing about it, is like, horse racing is just like, that's, that's like the prime killer of horses. <laughs> but it's like, you would, you would never be able to, like, like, just, just 100%, you would never be able to, to, to stop it, because there's so much money in the industry. Not, not just in the industry, in the gambling industry itself, but in the breeding industry, and everything like that. It's just, it's too big to shut down. Uh, and keep in mind, I'm not saying if we should or we shouldn't, but there are a lot of people out there who have very strong feelings one way or the other. Uh, it's not something I think about often until I do at moments like this, and then I go, ooh, yeah, like... In Australia, we did have a, a fella, uh, a state leader, attempt to... Well, that's weird. We did have a state leader attempt to, uh... to ban greyhound racing. Uh, which is, uh... Which is an industry not too dissimilar, uh, in that it's got a lot of problems. There's lots of accusations of cruelty, things like that. Uh, but getting rid of it would essentially put a lot of people out of work. <laughs> and uh, he ended up backing away from that because it had made him so unpopular. And I think he was actually starting to get death threats. <laughs> because, uh, because yeah, you know, I think threatening to like destroy entire industries uh, wouldn't go well. There are a lot of like little little horseshoe marks around here. Also, uh, a hole into the void, I'm sure we won't 
to worry hey. about. So, um, I want to say too much, but was there a puzzle? Is there a puzzle I'm supposed to solve here? Because <laughs> I kind of feel like, uh, I kind of feel like the puzzles. Was I, like, supposed to, like, turn these? And put them in and turn these? And the game just forgot? They forgot to put in the puzzle? Or is this something I'm gonna come back to and, like, do and I'll be able to, like, free you? Maybe it's, a uh... Like, what? Like, do I gotta get... S I guess I gotta get some horseshoes and come back here. And that's how the puzzle solves. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I feel like something went wrong there, uh, but maybe that's tied to Fringo Unicorn. Yeah, either either I needed to like so like for 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 freeing the spirit animal, or they forgot to program the puzzle. <laughs> uh, either way is fine, and I find it intensely funny. quite know what to say about that one, but, uh, the, uh, the spirit animal from the fourth dimension. Anytime something is, like, coming from a dimension that's, like, numbered four or higher, I, I get worried. And I've been worried already, so. It does, does beg the question, why even bind the dimensional creature and if you're not gonna like listen to it when it tells you it's uh it's got it's got what it takes. It's got the it's got the right stuff. That's a cool picture. There's so much stuff here. This horse toy always bothers me too, because when you look at the picture of it, like when we've got it back in the thing, it's got like yeah, like you might have seen it very briefly with the icon where okay, that's the most beautiful one yet. You know, it's a, uh, it's like, like it's got no head and legs, even though it should. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with that picture, at, like with that model. If they just, like, went, oops, we forgot to do it, or someone just like said, ah, that's good enough, or or like it's supposed to show things and it's not. But it's never been fixed, or you know, or it could be intended to be that way. I don't know. I guess this is where all our little jockeys trained. Because I'm pretty sure you can't train a unicorn in that. Oh man, we are lockpicking so many things. Okay, so this is... This is... I don't know, maybe the fourth dimension is full of incredibly smart horses. You don't know. God, this place. So many posters. I was someone... There is somebody on the dev team that just really loves horses. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like bad finders, like they're like they're like pestering them throughout the entire like dev process. It was just like, can we can we can we do like a, a like a you know a, a ranch? Can we do a ranch? You know, there's nothing more American than a ranch. And like, well, we got all our D's already full, and then it's like, okay, but I've drawn all these pictures of horses. I've been doing nothing but the entire like the entire six weeks. It's just been drawing horses. Of varying quality. Man, we are we are still barely along here. I, we've got the windmill key. We should probably go back to the windmill. But let me just make sure there's nothing here. Check the windmill before we go into the barn. <laughs> a 
Very nice. Yes, the dev was just horsing around. There we go. Um. Okay. Is that is this is this for real? Hold on, I got. Oh, I got make I got power. I got a lack of power. Oh, I need to go get a. I need to. Okay. Oh, is this real? Oh, this is actually kind of cool, actually. That is actually the coolest application of uh, of like the puzzles in this game. That is like that's almost that's a Resident Evil level puzzle, and they did it with the construction gun. And I'm actually like really happy about that. See, it's little it's little things like that. It's just little things like that that make me just go, man, that is so cool. So. So we've got like three different kinds of horseshoes. Insert horseshoe scheme. I guess we've got no horseshoe schemes right now. Oh no, we haven't. We've got one more thing we need to put up. Okay, hold on. Of course. Okay, so we've got one of the horseshoe schemes. And it's that one. Okay. So I guess we've got to go find the other schemes now. Sometimes the angles for picking those things up are so weird. Seriously, that was... magical. Oh, you've got something to say. No, okay. I like that the game gives hints. Uh... But just not for anything that I've gotten stuck on. <laughs> because what I've gotten stuck on is finding buttons to press. Because I'm an ignoramus. Oh dear. Alright, this is this is pretty good. I'm I'm liking this. I'm liking where we're going. So I just need to and I, I imagine the last one we need is in the barn we haven't gone into yet. Yeah, optional hints, it's good. A lot of games will, if you look like you're struggling, start shouting at you what the answer is. In this one, you just go up to talk to someone and it's just like, do you want the hint? Which they didn't actually have uh, in the base game release. And they did have some puzzles there. But they were more like physics puzzles. Yeah. Hey Duke, what's up? Don't look at me like that, I'm swollen because I'm allergic to bee venom. You fucking disgust me. Fucking hard hat wearing psycho. Uh, is there anything on the roof worth grabbing? I suppose I better do the rounds. Make sure there's not something worth uh, worth running off with. Because there's certainly a lot of stuff, and I don't want to smash up everything if I don't if I don't need to. It certainly doesn't seem like it. Oh. But there is a lot of garbage. <laughs> the hot dog buns. <laughs> the hot dog buns are new, by the way. I'm pretty sure they're new to the DLC. Yeah. Yeah, the devs... The devs... I gotta say, like... In a lot of these sorts of games, you might... Like, there's a lot of jank to these sorts of games, so to the point that you might expect that they just don't... They don't put in care and thought and things into it, but this game actually has... A lot of thought put into a lot of it. And it shows. And that's just really why I like this game, so... Oh, hey, look at that. I'm just gonna... Okay, so that's like one kind of bee. We've actually got blue bees now. <laughs> Which is a... It's just a sentence I uttered. Okay. 
So let's just calm these bees down and destroy the boobies. We gotta find the red, the red ones. Oh. We gotta kill all the red bees. Hmm, a lot of, a lot of cool riding stuff here. Oh, there it is. There we go. All be sorted. And <laughs> a horse floor. <laughs> a horse floor to go with the terrible horse the horse wallpaper. I think I'm just gonna turn my room into horse room. I'll leave B I'll leave B B barn finders, but we're gonna definitely need horse floor for the bedroom. Uh, now we've we've successfully completed that we can go up to the next floor, which I'm assuming is where the horseshoe is. Make sure I haven't missed any anything worth selling around here. I'll do. I use my I use my precious eyeballs first, and then I'll. I have I have entertained playing the long drive a lot. The thing is, is I've watched another streamer play the long drive, and they were so goddamn funny. I just I feel like me trying to play that game. Which is pale in comparison. <laughs> it was... <laughs> like, genuinely, like, if you ever want to see The Long Drive as played by... <laughs> as played by a complete... A complete psychopath. And I mean this in a good way. I mean, he was, he's, he's playing a role as he does it. Uh, Tomato Gaming. Uh, or just Tomato now, I believe. On Twitch. Uh, he's, he's inspirational in how he plays The Long Drive. Uh... He, uh, it is, it is, it is beyond words to describe how entertaining, uh, he does it. Oh my god, I'm just lockpicking everything. This might be the most insanely reprehensible lockpicking one yet. I bet you're doing this much. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on, don't do me like this. That's all I had to do. I didn't even have to do the puzzle. The puzzle didn't work. <laughs> so, uh, oh, oh yeah, the very yes, he did absolutely. Wait, um, why was Billy saying that? <laughs> I think I think something broke. So what's this about? You okay, dude? Uh, yep, yep, I guess we're taking it with us, and we're selling it like a car. Uh, I think the game... Un to, to no one's surprise, uh... The <laughs> to no one's surprise, they, they rather jankily broke the... Well, or at least me playing the game broke the puzzle that was necessary to actually get into the thing. Um, I'm completing the steps for it anyway, I guess. Uh, but free all we had to do to free the unicorn was just walk in there and and like open the door. Uh, yeah, to Tomato uh, definitely shot himself with the gun very quickly, uh, amongst other things. Like, I feel like if, for those of you who are in the Discord, definitely just uh, like hold out for a bit when I get when I like finish playing the game because I will link you to some some moments from his stream. But for everyone else, I just highly recommend you go and see it. Uh, there's no one, there's no one out. He's pretty much my favorite streamer, and I don't mind like shilling for him f freely and openly because he is the most en literally the most entertaining thing out there. All right, well let's go see what happens if we put the horseshoes in to the thing that's already had the shoes put in. Yeah, you should, long, the long, like, see, that's the other thing is, is like, I feel like if I tried to do anything even remotely funny in the long drive, I'd mostly just be drawing upon the much funnier works of other people who are incredibly funny. <laughs> I just love it. Do you need a hint? Uh, I think we need the game to understand that I've already completed it. 
So we're just gonna. That's so weird. Yeah, agreed. And there we go. Oh my god, I solved the puzzle. Is like. L <laughs> oh dear, okay. Chicken time. It's a gun. It's definitely a gun. I'll just go upstairs even though I'm pretty sure I'm covering like all the areas here. Yeah, okay. I've got, I've got an inkling that it's all down at the uh all down at the barn I just went away from. Must be something right behind the bin or in the bin. Oh, there is something in the bin. There we go. I don't know what that is, but uh, we got it. This feature is pretty great. Oh, there's another one. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, cold. There's like there's one more hole over here. Oh no, that wasn't a hole, was it? Well, can't be too much more left. And then we've got the Miko event. So we'll definitely go home, sell everything, and then go do the Miko event. Because, I mean, we'd be mad not to, wouldn't we? I swear to God, you better not be in the gat dang maze or I'm going to flip my shit. I used this while in the maze, didn't I? There is one other place I haven't really checked. <laughs> Unable to leap tall hedges in a single bound. <laughs> that is weird. I like the way the icon lights up. Should got like round underneath it. That's just weird. I'm just going to check out the pond, because I'm pretty sure that's the only place I haven't sort of, like, chickened at. And then, once that's done, then I'm just going to say whatever and leave. Yeah. I ain't exactly heartbroken about whatever that, like, one piece left is. I want to get onto the, uh... <laughs> it's probably going to end up being, like, the last assemblage piece I need for, like, something. That's it there.
You're talking crazy, Sebastian. You're 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 talking crazy. No one believes you. Nah, trash isn't counted in the items. That does give me money. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I mean, if it really is like the uh, one of the items we need to like assemble, assemble, I suppose I can go back for it. But it's like two items I missed. <laughs> so how much is a unicorn going to sell for? I wonder. Oh dear. Okay, well let's uh let's send that off. Wrong thing. Uh game. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> Oh, I haven't unpacked it yet, have I? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the reason why I couldn't send it. I will I will laugh if I janked this out so bad. Yeah, okay, good. You gotta take it off the truck first. Silly me. Alright, so we got three dirty items, uh two broken items and five assembly items, so let's uh Let's just do them as I see them. Gotta get our pants. Making ourselves a jockey, I guess. <laughs> How do you even tell that this thing is filthy? Just gonna wash it around until it's good, I guess. See, this thing, when I pulled this one out of the horse poo, I knew it was dirty. None the little, none the little hosing can't fix. You yeah, know? You just, you just spray a little of the horse doo doo off. And it's like. Big animal doo doo is pretty terrifying. All right, gloves. Just like before, we're just assembling a man. And uh, <laughs> just like before, the game is just phoned in, putting the pieces on them. I guess. It's so weird how I have to like go back and then forwards to let me do it again. A cute little unicorn face, at least, whatever it is. So weird. It's just so weird that I have to go back and then back down again. I feel like the game's the game the first this is the first DLC update and the game is coming apart at the seams. <laughs> The game is just starting to slowly to break down. Yeah, so we do we did have the full we did have the full jockey, so that's good. Nice boots. And there we go. We've made our we've made our rider. And then we're gonna sell him. Alongside of our horse. 
still got some things to clean, don't we? And fix, so... Oh, yeah. A lot of animals just breaking out the back of their cages, I guess. <laughs> He's already ready to be sold. He's already in place. We're just going to sell this fourth dimensional being. He's going to become somebody else's problem. It's great. And... Come on. Yeah, so it's just going to be the wheel. And then we've got... Uh, then we've got some selling to do tomorrow. And then... The last event. And then we have finished the American Dream. I didn't think it was going to be a long one, so... I figured it was going to be a nice little distraction. No, no, no. Today's like these I normally would do. Like a Warhammer game stream. And I still do have to finish Retribution, but... By that same token. We have not gotten a sick... Oh, we got a pistol. That's it. Uh, I wanted to do this. And it does kind of space things out a little bit better. Because like, we've got about another... About another three more stream sessions before Total War Warhammer 2's next big release. The uh, the the Beast Men are getting updated, and I did want to do one one stream where I just show off the old Beast Men, so everyone has a bit of context when new Beast Men come out. Just so they understand like why it's different, why the Beast Men needed to be fixed up, things like that. <laughs> Oh, what, what? Oh, I guess that ended the game. Well, that's cool and all, uh, but we're still going. We're done. We're not done here. There's no, there's no credits. There's no credits when we're still playing. Hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta make my, room. I gotta make my. There we go. Horse room. <laughs> yeah, we got all, we got all our gold toilet paper too. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, bid wars, which is a, I think it's just gonna be a, like an endlessly looping like, series of, like, auctions. I'm not sure how they're gonna, gonna go off with that, because I don't find the auctions particularly exciting. But we're definitely gonna do them. It says we need lots of money for this, so we're, we're gonna show everything. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on there, because someone's gonna want to buy that unicorn, and I'm gonna have to run over to them. We're gonna keep going until we've sold literally everything. Can't believe Uncle Billy's dead. Okay, everyone's in here. Please buy Tony Bunny. Thank you, Jack. It'd be interesting to see what the Bid Wars thing comes out like, because, like, I just don't... I don't know how they could make it appealing, because the auctioning is, like, the easiest part of the game. <laughs> just have money, dunk the fuck out of everybody, they give up so easily... Like, I feel like they'd almost have to like fine tune the auction up stuff up a lot better. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> couldn't see him for a second. He was behind the auction guy. But you know, they made a they made a pretty interesting DLC. Uh, bugs aside. <laughs> I do wonder what happened, like, if someone just, like, forgot to, like, set, like, set a particular tag, like, you know, like, tag or something to make that not happen. <laughs> because, like, for me to just be able to walk over and just open the thing is just kind of like, hmm, that doesn't seem right. Oh, yeah. No one's buying the unicorn buy yet. Let's... 
Vad men vad vet du? Vem är jag då? Oh really? We're already out of medium items? God. That went quickly. <laughs> yeah, perhaps only Lady Dragon will be able to see it. She seems like, with a name like Lady Dragon, you know, like, she's obviously magical. I don't like the implications of, like, that ending cutscene, though, where, like, they noted, they noted quite specifically that that Trump kind of looking kind of guy and Bobby Gray both have the same taste in like eyewear That's and mustaches. Him. I'm glad Delilah's buying, buying the gun because I thought a Jack joke is going to be too easy at this point. <laughs> and there we go, another one down. Yeah, it's kind of wild. It's like all our all our shelf stuff. No one's buying shelf stuff. Seriously, someone buy the fucking unicorn, for God's sakes! Oh fuck's sake! Where are you? Go away! Just stop! Stop trying to steal my guitars and tennis rackets. Rackets? Ugh, bleh, bleh. My <laughs> eyes, my eyes, ugh. Yeah, you're... Yeah, whatever. You're... you're. Yeah, yeah, you, your husband is a horse, but your mother is a wonderful <laughs> lady that Uncle Billy loves very much. There's an achievement for like getting a, like a certain number of points just like shooting hoops. What? It's not even showing any icons now. <laughs> but they're here. Oh. I feel like too good for you is the story of my life, but anyway. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> Bookshelves. Big shelves, I should say. Honestly, it kind of looks more like a picnic table, but whatever. <laughs> I ain't gonna judge. My room is horses. Hey, Bobby. I think... Honestly, if I'm thinking about it, probably the best way to make Auction Wars not just you bid on literally everything and, like, open everything before, like, the last bid and sell it, is they should probably just make it so that there are limited numbers that you can get and everything is valued differently, uh, but you can sort of look in and get kind of an idea of what's in there. I'm sort of... Oh, hold on a second. Someone wants to buy a unicorn. <laughs> Auction. 2,200 for a unicorn. I don't know, like, that's probably the most we've sold anything for for a while, but... It's a unicorn with wings, come on. We should be getting, yeah, see, that's a bit more like it. Like, we should be getting 3,000 for that at least. Well, okay. 
I'm, you know, I'm in a hurry. I'll settle. 2,900, that's still pretty good. Well, it looks like a picnic table, whatever it is. <laughs> At least we've we've sold we've sold the unicorn. It's somebody else's problem now. We'll never have to think about it again. It's gone. We're free. The curse has been broken very quickly. <laughs> I love the way to set it free was simply just like lockpick. It's very like big lockpick door. Oh, yeah. I thought that said big iron and I was getting all excited and then I realized it was iron iron and my eyes just be so tired from doing this mini game right now but I'm gonna get through it all I'm gonna sell all these for uh, let's try that again Yeah, okay, that's better. I need profit's a good profit. <laughs> Even though I got it for like for free from breaking into a house, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> no. We live in here now. Yeah, so family table. That still looks like a park bench to me. Like a park table. It's the auction guy that bought it too, actually, now that I think about it. That's really weird. Maybe he wants to, like, start a new business. He's breaking away from the auction family traditions. The naming in this game is very yeah. cute. I always appreciate it. Like, literally everything manages to get a chuckle out of me. <laughs> They've created this wonderful absurdist world where just like... Everything is just weird and silly. I thought that was a skeleton for some reason. <laughs> I think my brain is degrading. <laughs> I, think, I, think I, I think I'm melting uh, into a puddle of goo. Speaking of. You wanna buy Sir Philipson? Hmm. He said MIB and not MBI. <laughs> the game the game is just coming apart. I'm coming apart. And we still got one last thing to get through. Yeah. Ooh, that actually sells for pretty good. I didn't didn't realize that last two we sold. Yeah. <laughs> Duke is such a such a tool. <laughs> I just want to like turn his hat upside down, fill it full of, like whipped cream and then put it back on his head again. The big stupid goofball. His stupid happy dance. Oh. Yeah, some more husband is a horse literature fanatics here. I think I've sold so many copies of that book. Actually, thinking about it, I've sold so many copies of this book, you wouldn't think it would be rare enough that people need to buy it from a pawn shop, but... What do I know? Sebastian's invisible. Always good. This bubba's real. 
abilities just like Sebastian's not real, son. Still so much to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> Ducky spin. Oh mm. dear, I am I am really looking forward to the Total War Warhammer Two stuff. Though, like that, that's gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to to the the DLC for that, because I really like playing as the Beastmen. Like, but their campaign mechanics and some of the I suppose the the paucity of their unit like roster, they don't have a huge amount of depth and what they do have has a lot of holes in it. But their playstyle is fun. Woo. It's just the uh, the campaign is just like it was built for Total War Hammer One and uh unfortunately Total War Hammer Two changed just enough that being a horde army is insufferable. I was also thinking uh, I might do another uh, Necromunda uh, hired gun stream, but instead of like doing the story, just doing missions. You know, like just doing like the uh, the the Gene Seal and Cult yeah. missions and things like that, because they get you to do some pretty funny stuff. Uh, like you know. <laughs> I think they just like they're such just such hilariously bad ideas. It's worth doing. And plus, you know, like just showing off what the game's got. I haven't heard anything about if they're if they're intending on doing any more with it. Uh, like there's been a few like little bit of updates, <laughs> patches for things like that. Like I said, I beat the game personally, but I still feel like it's a game people should play themselves. But at the same time, sorry, one sec. At the same time, I feel like it's uh, it's something that's uh, like not not too big a deal to be showing off like the side missions and things like that because they're kind of pointless. But the game is fun, and it'll give me a chance to play around with more of the weapons more as well and show those off. Aww. Plus, once you actually max out the character, you apparently get like a massive boost to everything. Okay, so we're out of wall hangings now, so it's just all the big stuff that goes on the big stuff. Oh gosh. We're getting there, but god, there are just so many things to sell. Soon we will be the richest inhuman monster on the planet. And of course, you know, next next Wednesday I'll do Eldar finish off the Eldar campaign, like I was planning on doing it today. And then we will... <laughs> bye. bye to Wish you. I could say bye to you, though. Um, <laughs> just let me, let me, like, let me spray him with the, with the bee stuff, actually. I'm just gonna, like, spray him with the anti-bee stuff. I'm gonna see if Agent, <laughs> Agent Agent is actually, like, actually a bee. So just would like to chase this man out of the store, spraying him with this. Just like bee steam him. It would make me so happy. Devs, please. For the love of for the love of all that is Jesus America, allow me to be to to, to be the man that drives Agent Agent from from his store. I 
ば<laughs> Sorry about that loud conversation erupted. I don't think you guys need to hear anything <laughs> talking about. Oh god! Wait, oh, I was staying too close to the platform. I thought I was almost rid of all of that. People discussing washing and things like that, you know, household nonsense. Oh, where are I? Stan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, we're almost there. I almost, I almost, oh yeah, sorry Jack, I did. See, look, this is what I was talking about though, the My Little Horse toy. On it, it has wheels and a head, but the model does not. It's the weirdest thing, and I, I don't know if it was intentional, or they just, like, didn't complete it, or what happened. See? Look. There it goes. Like, it makes no sense to me whatsoever. But it's such a minor, unimportant thing, it's like, it doesn't have to make sense to me. Like, who cares? <laughs> like, in the end, it's like, a, it's like a stupid little thing you sell. Like, it's not like that matters at all. Oh, no, no, no. I'm no, just no, like, no. getting through this, and I'm just like, God, I look at how many we've got left, and it's just like, please. I don't want to do it. He did it again. I, am, uh, I have to resurface the floor every time uh, Sebastian uh, visits because he just keeps putting his cigarettes out in it. I'd ban him from this place if he wasn't my dealer. That's all I'm saying. God, we're almost there. I keep saying that, but it's only like about 30 more items and most of them are big items. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> at least we have thief punching. No matter what happens in this game, at least we get to punch that guy right in the kidneys. Mm -hmm. You'd think, knowing that there's like a big auction event coming up, these people would just like stop coming in and throwing all their money at me, knowing full well that I'm going to take all their money and just go to like a shitty auction and just like waste it all on getting more stuff to sell to them. Like we are, we are trapped in like the most abusive cycle, uh, myself and my customers, where like I just take their money, I use their money to make them more miserable and then they come to me to get the things that they had failed to get before to ensure that they just it just keeps happening like all they've been, all they are doing is enabling my incredibly toxic lifestyle Almost there. Almost there, just like. You know, we've got three items on the little shelves. Another thing I thought about streaming, actually, that's sort of come up recently is Warhammer Age of Reckoning. The, uh, the formerly Mythic Entertainment uh -huh. EA Warhammer MMO that has uh, basically been pieced back together by fans. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, City of Heroes style only without someone hiding it away for a few years to like <laughs> to sell to their mates. Hey. And it just, it looks really nice and I, I get the big nostalgias. There we go. So pretty much we've got everything out on the floor now. Eight more items to sell. And, and it's just... I loved the hell out of Warhammer Age of Reckonings. And I miss it. I kind of miss it.
And I want to throw myself off the White Tower of Safari properly this time. Last time I did it, I, like, I landed on, like, a platform halfway down. I want to, like, sail all the way off of it. <laughs> I just want to throw myself off the, you know, throw myself off one of the highest things in the game. And then I want to make Cool Guy watch it. Ah, oh, gee. So close! So close to freedom! I'm just gonna say this right now, Jack, that is not gonna fit. I think it's time to give up on your dreams, man. Like... <laughs> like, I can... I mean, seven hundred dollars. You can, you can, you can keep your dreams going. You can keep your dreams alive, I guess. You know, for seven hundred dollars, seventy-seven, seven hundred and seventy dollars. You know, you can, your dreams can become become more than just dreams. Yep, nine hundred and forty-five dollars. You, you do you then. Good luck. Uh, may, may the horse be with you. God, come on. <laughs> just hurry it up. I want to just do the last thing. I want to see what's so great about this goldfish. I want to know. I want to, I want the secrets yeah, of the nah, goldfish nah. revealed to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At least he doesn't That's mess fair. around. And two left, and thankfully they're they're far enough apart. I can get away with this. Probably. This is the part where Agent Agent and the Thief both spawn at once. Okay. I'll take one person okay, over, like a Take double, it. a double, a double Agent Agent and Sebastian. Although, last time, we were down to the last item to sell. <laughs> so, you piece of shit! Sell, you motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking get on its back and scream at it. Sell, you son of a... Son of a hobby horse. Well, I guess the game isn't gonna do what it did last time. Because we've still got a little bit more to, sh to show off. Alright. There we go. All is sold. All is good. Let's go to the event. Seriously, wait. Yeah, we're going to the bid. We're going to the bid wars. Your reward, fame? Wait, what? Am I doing this for clout? I can't sell clout. Excuse me, game? My reward is fame? No. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't want fame. Uh, this is going to be like the biggest letdown since, uh, <laughs> well, well, since the last level, but anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, see, it's the same, it's still the same old area that I've smashed up into. Oh, oh look at it, guys. This is what we're aiming for. We're aiming up for delicious G's. Their fucking camper that they used to travel around America until their untimely demonic demise. Let's get cracking. Thanks, <laughs> Amanda. So rude. We'll like Sebastian. I just put your cigarettes out of my store floor. Actually, be less like Sebastian. Alright. So let's take a look around and see what we've got. We've got 
got a lovely diner themed location. It's got a few cool things in there. It's got a gimme your money. We've got uh, trash. A lot of trash and a few helmets. Nothing else over there. Looks like they're all over here. Ooh, that one's a mystery. Kind of looks like hard hats, mostly. <laughs> hard hats and garbage. I mean, we're going to bid on all of them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, TVs and wardrobes. That's usually a good... That's a good mix of things. And the ducky. And... Art. There is art in there, I guess. We will definitely... And a B. Art and B. So why don't we start with the B? Let's see what happens. Well, in terms of like bidding stuff, this ain't exactly the most impressive of them. Uh, it said to bring lots of money, but I ain't exactly uh, ain't exactly gonna be breaking my bank at this juncture. Sell the peas. <laughs> That's the face of a winner. Nothing doing, but plenty of rope. Actually, there's a lot of really good stuff in here to sell. <laughs> he's, he's me, like, picking out garbage. Oh, man, there's actually, like, a, a lot of really good stuff in This game has trained me quite, quite well. Is there anything back behind me? Doesn't look like it. No, not particularly. Okay. Just, there's bees there. Won't let me sell the bees either, which is very disappointing. And for a second there, it looked like he was, uh, looked like he was gonna go. Yeah, oh, look, they're all, they're all coming in swinging at the last second. They weren't doing this before. They still lost, but, you know, at least they, at least they tried this time. They put a little bit of effort in. Let's clean this place out, see what we got. As if any of this is meaningful now, because we're not going to be, we're not doing any more selling. We're just going to like clean this place out, see what's in here, and then the stream will be done. Oh, well, well, well. Looks like we found the secret unicorn dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at all that beautiful, beautiful money just rolling in. Look, I understand it's a little unsettling, but um, I can't sell it so it's worthless to me. So we're going to leave it here. Like the fact the fact that I can't sell it is actually upsetting. I paid for it, I should be able to sell it. It's not even valuable trash.
someone was quite possibly chained down here. Who knows? Only the horse knows, and uh, it's not sharing its secrets. <laughs> Nearly forgot that. Thankfully, it was lo levitating perfectly in view. Alright, well, uh. Next! They say bring lots of cash, but I feel like this one's been less expensive than the one before I did. <laughs> like the house, the house one was was like the like like for the DLC was really cheap, but like the actual bit event, bit wars event I did before was like way different. Seriously, eight hundred bucks. Just like that. Like, that's... that's depressing. <laughs> just a lot of... just a lot of... just a lot of nothing coming from the competition right now. It's like they've all given up. Pretty lucrative, honestly, so far. You know, lucrative quotation marks. Video game lucrative. Damn. This has actually got way more in it than I thought there would be, too. Total value of this, uh. Yeah, see, and so, see, that's why I say, like, having a limited number of, like, things you can successfully bid on before, like, the game, like, locks you out of doing the rest and other people can get some scores on would, you know, perhaps make it a bit more challenging for you? I don't know, because this isn't really, this isn't really challenging. <laughs> this is just like randomly paying a certain amount of money, because your opponents in the bidding wars will absolutely never beat you. Especially once you become like, financial like this. <laughs> this is like, yeah, don't forget all the, bring all your money. It's like, I don't think I need to. I don't know, it was going to be this easy. I would have left on the, uh, on the horse. I'd have done this beforehand and then just like, we have finished off on, uh, on just owning a unicorn. Oh, well... lady. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe I'll buy the soundtrack. I'm just gonna immediately just like start crushing it. I don't even care. I was like, are we gonna like finish this up anytime soon? Like, like, I, I literally, I was worried that I was just gonna have to end the stream right there with this guy just going, I'm gonna, 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 I'
Does this mean I missed one? Because usually when you've got all of them, it's over. Maybe they maybe they changed it now, so you actually like get a chance to like to go into your last one. Because that was a problem. You could like a lot of people would do all the big wars before going through their stuff, and would lose <laughs> because the game was like, no, you've got to actually like gonna like open them. But it didn't give you a chance to like take stock of things. Which of course didn't happen to me because I am the super genius who watched everybody else fail at it and then, you know, learned from it. I have a similar expression on my face right now. Oh my! What? How? How much wood? That sound effect is great though. I think I've talked about how much I love, like, special effects sound effects and the people who make them and the work that goes into making them that was that was a prime squelch I'm actually like a huge fan of that squelch from when we hit that so that's it I guess a oh, fucking compass those things are so small I hate I hate that they exist well that's it I guess are we done we d did I win do I get fame now? Am I am I famous? Um Did I miss one? <laughs> Guys? Oh, hold on. Is there like another one hidden around here somewhere? Did I Did the game the game not finish? <laughs> Game? Can I just take this? No? Aww. Well, I guess... I guess the game's bugged out and the auction's over. And I don't get the camp up. Uh, that is definitely the kind of scuffed ending I was expecting from this. I'm just, uh, I'm just surprised it took to the very end of me playing this for us to finally get super fucked. Nice, huh? No one, no one's winning this one. I'm afraid <laughs> we're. I'm afraid we're going to be perpetually stuck in this hell dimension now. So. No, no, no. I want to talk to this guy. Just the chicken. <laughs> yeah, it t it's just telling me there's the camper. Uh, the problem, the problem is, is it's supposed to end. Like, remember when I said, "Oh, I guess it doesn't end when everything's bid for now." Uh, it was supposed to end when I when I won that one. And as a result, the auction has not formally ended. Uh, and as a result, I can't win the camper. It is unfortunate, but it is also fortunate that I wasn't going to really do anything with this game afterwards anyway. Unless you're supposed to collect everything now? I don't know. Like, that was how it worked previously, so I'm like 90% sure that it just bugged out. I think it just bugged out. Oh, there is still something over here, though. something in there. <laughs> Game? I'm very confused right now. It's not up there, it's, it's quite literally in the wall, isn't it? Kinda sounds like I'm standing on it, actually. Game's over anyway. Oh, that, that's good. So, thanks everyone for joining me. This has been Pid Wars, the American dream in all its wonderful jankness. I <laughs> have to sell the bees. Yeah, so... 
we'll be back to regular Warhammer Wednesday schedule uh, from now until uh, well, for the foreseeable future because, yeah, like I said, I've already got my next three weeks of streams planned out and then Total War Warhammer 2, like, sorry, yeah, Total War Warhammer 2's Beastmen and vs. Lizardmen DLC comes out. So, that'll probably be Warhammer Wednesday for quite a while. The other thing is we've got, hopefully, the finale for The Evil Within this weekend. So, there's really nothing else left to do except uh, fight the bees to the death. So, um, here I go.